Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the X Men retrospective. I am the angel, Travis Snell. Oh, fuck. I have not prepared for a name. I, I did not prepare that second, but I'm like, <laughs> what's a new character in this movie? Angel. Boom. Got I him. am the. There's an easy one. <sighs> Who's going to get it? I'm not going to take it because I don't know which one you're talking about. I'll tell you. Both I am the. It. Phoenix. Kirkland That's Pence. the easy okay. one. Okay, yeah. oh. I got it. <laughs> All right, Kyle, you're up. I'm the uh, multiple death scene, Kyle Smith. <laughs> okay. I was gonna go with some Ellen Page in there because this is the first oh, movie yeah, with her. her. In it. Yeah, so, true. Uh, I'm Travis Snell, bitch. Oh, that would have been a good one. <laughs> yeah, 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 we're <laughs> always after. Or Mr. <laughs> Steal Your Girl, Kyle Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Who was that for? That was uh, Frost. Not well, that's debatable. <laughs> that's the, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, no. That's debatable. Well, I guess that's like Ellen Page. Who, she was doing that. Yes, yeah. we'll get into that. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't guessed by your nicknames or the title or whatever, all these uh, obvious facts are. This is the third episode of the X Men retrospective in honor of Dark Phoenix, which will be Fox's last X Men movie. And the time of this recording, they apparently there's rumors that they're pushing New Mutants back again. So we're probably never going to get that movie ever. <laughs> we're never going to see it. So Dark Phoenix <laughs> might be the last one ever of the Fox ones. So we are reviewing X Men one which we already did. We did X1, X2, all the way to Days of Future Past. The other ones we have reviewed already. So I think when we finish these, we'll do probably a ranking episode. Maybe we'll talk about them then if we rank certain movies. But those ones have already been reviewed. So we're going X-Men and Days of Future Past. We have made it all the way to X3. I'm going to give the synopsis, and then we're going to get into what everyone thought of this What's movie. What's the actual title of X3? It's not X3. X-Men, The Last Stand. Oh, The Last Stand. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. I don't know because some the poster says X Men Last Stand, IMDb says X Men Three Last Stand. Mm. I'm just gonna go with X Men Three because yeah. it's clearly not the Last Stand. As yeah. there's the Wolverine, there's <laughs> Days of Future Past. There's many movies that follow <laughs> after the Last Stand. Uh, the human government develops a cure for mutations, and Jean Grey becomes a darker, uncontrollable persona called the Phoenix, who allies with Magneto, causing an escalation into an all-out battle for the X Men. So I feel like, and I'm going to go first, I feel like just even with that synopsis, you can tell that's a messy synopsis already. That introduces three separate things. you got the Cure, Magneto, and Phoenix, and that's what this movie is. It's just a big mess. It's not an uncommon thing that this is known as a not a good X-Men movie. I think both the one and two, we talked about them, are good to great. They're on an upward trajectory of like getting better, getting better, <laughs> and then it takes a big dive. And yeah, there is maybe a film later on that we're going to talk about that takes a lower dive but at this point if you're just thinking of just these three when you think x1 x2 this just took a huge just what do they call that when the airplane is like crashing and it's nose, a nose, nose dive diving. that's what this yeah. did and it just was there's so much going on there's characters getting killed left right and center there's no development uh it's just too much it's too much crammed into one movie i think the only and the thing is there's not even that many great performances because like Xavier's gone really quickly. Magneto is around, but we'll get into that. I feel like Magneto is not the Magneto from the first other no, two movies. Yeah. He completely is against like his character, what they set up. And I think the only things that I like about this is Hugh Jackman Wolverine. I think he's still doing great. And I love Kelsey Grammer's Beast. I love him. I love the yeah. dynamic they have. That's the only thing in this movie I love. And a few like scenes here and there that we'll get into, but really... It's just a messy movie. It's not like one of the worst movies of all time, but it's just, it's so disappointing when you think about the first two we just watched, oh, yeah. which even X1 is not fantastic. But when you think of X1, at least just feels like it's conscious and knows what it's going for. This is just like, let's do this. <laughs> let's do this. Like this movie could have been two movies, maybe three, but it could have at least been two different movies. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of this movie, but we're going to get into yeah. all those reasons why. Going into this, I feel like uh, the second one and then going into this one, we, we get to see more mutants. Mm -hmm. But with this one, they threw in so many mutants and they just felt so generic. Like oh, there yeah. was a handful that just felt like they have the same powers. They guys just like with leap. Hoodies. Yeah, guys with hoodies <laughs> that leap. And they all like <laughs> eight of them just like leap <laughs> at the same time. Oh, yeah. The they're just like move. we have jumping powers. And yeah, that's exactly. it. Exactly. And they never we never know what they do. Like, no, it's just exactly. Like, it's the lamest version of a war. Yeah, like they, a mutant. They tried to just throw in so many characters, but they just like stretched them out so thin, and they're so generic, and they weren't fleshed out properly. Yeah. So yeah. Um, I kind of thought it was not that bad. Oh, well, there you <laughs> go. You can <laughs> play devil's go. advocate. I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure Taylor's listening, and he's like, "Yes." Yeah. Well, I, but like now, kind of what you guys are saying is like slowly change. I'm like rethinking. I was like, "Oh yeah, those are really good points." No, I thought like I didn't mind watching the movie. I thought it was pretty good. It just kind of going through the motions of what was happening. Yeah, I guess like there's a lot going on. Mm -hmm. now but you dug like, it. Pardon me? But you dug it for the most part. Yeah, I didn't yeah. think it was that bad. I, I enjoyed it. I 
I enjoyed it a lot more than the other movie that yeah. we will talk about later. I, I was going <laughs> to say that as well. I, I, was, I was mentioning this to Travis before the cast. It's like when you watch uh, the movie that we'll be talking about later. like <laughs> You'll never guess which one's next. <laughs> yeah. in, in contrast to X3, it's yeah. just like, man, X3 wasn't that bad. It was actually like, I, you know, it made a little bit more sense than what's going on in here. So Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that might actually <laughs> why well, I'm screwed up right now. Yeah. yeah. But, I, uh, but otherwise, overall, like I didn't think X3 was that bad. Yeah, there's some like you know details that we've kind of already mentioned before but overall like it was a, a, f- a f- an okay movie like i wouldn't like fail it or anything like that so mm-hmm. it was an, e- an easy-ish watch and yeah it was a lot of uh dying a lot of deaths sure. it's the last it's stand crazy it's so. the last stand yeah mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> and now kind of like even looking at it as a bigger franchise like it's it's interesting how they went through this storyline for this third movie after like all the movies that they've made after it like you yeah. think this would be like the final one unless in their mind they thought oh this might be the last x-men movie we make well and it is funny to talk about because obviously we're doing this retrospective in honor of dark phoenix and the thing is lots of people have said these trailers look a lot like this movie and they really do and like teams divided there's lots Mm -hmm. of stuff going on Mm -hmm. jeans popping off and it's that same thing where it feels too soon like this Mm -hmm. had three like two movies of build up this Dark Phoenix one coming only had one. We met Jean Grey in Apocalypse, and now we're already, boom, Dark Phoenix, you know? And mm-hmm. it's going to be interesting now that we've watched this so freshly. And then hopefully, Dark Phoenix, I hope it's not the same thing, but it just looks a lot of the same as this movie, which is, I don't I know. I feel like yeah. the first time I saw a trailer for Dark Phoenix was like seven years ago. So I don't even remember what's, what to expect. Perfect. Anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Should we dive into this? Yeah, sure. Let's okay, do it. so we start with the two openings. We got Angel's opening. He's mm. cutting himself up and blah blah. I wanted, blah. I wanted to mention one thing on yeah. that because uh, it goes the Angel opening and then it it, it goes to, like the credit intro. Yeah. That, that felt that so one. like Spider Man, like or like Tobey Maguire Spider Man mm-hmm. scene. I was like, man, I like this is so familiar. And then <laughs> that's what made. Me and I guess it. I had them wrong. The Angel opening was second, and the first opening is a very uh, de-aged Patrick Stewart and Ian McKellen. Uh, oh, in a time when de aging technology was not perfected, and they do not look a hundred percent right. I had such a big irk right off the bat. Hang with on, that before scene. you go, okay, and they're yeah. trying to talk to Jean's parents about what's wrong. With their yes. end recruiter. So now you there's nothing so wrong with her. I, I had <laughs> yeah. such a big irk because whatever age she was, she's supposed to be like super young, like just finding out that Eight-ish, she has probably powers, right? right? Yeah. yeah. So she just finds out that she has powers or whatever. I feel like she's stronger than current age. Like Jean Grey, she lifts up every car with like full control, like in the neighborhood. Do you mean drops them? Do you mean stronger than Jean Grey or stronger than Phoenix? Than, G- than Jean, Jean Grey. Grey. Well, I agree with that, but I feel like because he reduces her powers, right? Yeah. So I feel Xavier? like okay. Yeah, fair I feel enough. like yeah, fair I remember yeah. he does his like uh, not uh, like what's it called telepathic no i don't know what it's officially it's called but i know what you're he has there's like, like a hi- thing over her and he has his hands over yeah her. Like he's like hypnotizing her he's giving her like, like a telepathic a telepathic uh like a but, but but does or, uh or uh what, what is that when they cut your brain open L- lobotomy that's <laughs> what they're lobotomy. that's what he's doing <laughs> yeah. to her you know so but, that's but does he do that like when she's young i think what they think so i think yeah i think what they do is they bring her to the school they try to contain it it doesn't go well so they're like well we got an idea let's just like Mm-hmm. Close My her bad. Off. I yeah, clearly yeah, yeah. am just a viewer that missed that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I was so enough. triggered though because I saw this and I'm like, I just watched two movies. <laughs> yeah. And she was weak as fuck. I like, can't use her rebro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And like, meanwhile, just young Gene is just lifting mm-hmm. up cars, like flexing on these two guys. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I like the scene. I like. I like seeing them together. Mm-hmm. Like Xavier and Magneto. I think they got good chemistry. And already you can see this relationship is not going to work out between the two because they approach the parents very differently. But yeah. I think it's a good setup. It, it gets us going like i said it is very they just look very plasticky yeah. it's so much different from when we got rogue one or you look at ant-man and the wasp where you got like michael douglas and uh, michelle pfeiffer looking like the exact or like guardians too like kurt russell looking exactly like he did mm-hmm. this does look like a younger version of them but it just is kind of scary at times and even there's another movie we're going to talk about too where this is the time where they just had that plastic element when they made them look young you know so and they're I just moving around of awkwardly. its time. <laughs> yeah. oh, it, I, I was going to mention that. <laughs> it is. But, and then Angel Scene. I like Angel Scene. It's cool. Yeah. It's dark. I think it's, it's a... very cringy. I remember being young mm-hmm. and being like, oh, no. Because like yeah. when, when they show the, the, scar. The, the scar in the yeah. mirror, yeah. it's just like, ugh. Yeah, and I think it's good motivation. It's a good setup to, like, this kid would be scared, you know? Oh, so. totally. His dad's mm-hmm. so, like, anti-mutants, right? Yeah. I but wish they kind of in, went more into depth with this Angel character. I think we could talk about him right now because <laughs> yeah. he'll he pop up, but he, the <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he does four things in this movie. 
there's that scene, and then the next time we don't see him is still like the middle of the movie, and like Warren, come in here, we're gonna give you the cure. <laughs> yeah. And then he, for some reason, decides he has to jump out the window. There was no security guard. There was this two guys kind of holding them back, but really, like I think he could have just used the stairs. Like you know, like he, he's a bird man. He's I get bird, it. Wants man. To he's fly. gotta fly. Next time we see Peacock. him, gotta fly. <laughs> <laughs> next time we see him, he's just like. I thought this was a school for the gifted. <laughs> and then the next time we see him, he's just randomly in the battle. He saves his dad, and that's it. He doesn't help oh. the X Men out at all. It's so yeah, funny it's that you not. mentioned that. Because <laughs> it's like such 100%. a waste of a character. Yeah, it is. Especially since they like show him off in the beginning. You're like, oh man, I haven't seen this guy before. He's going to be yeah. so important. He's going to be integral to the plot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> well, you look at all the other openings. Like, what? X1, we got Rogue and Magneto, two yeah. very important characters. Yeah. X2, what was the opening there? Oh God! What was that? Oh we just God. watched it because it, it the opening's not Logan at Weapon X, but it's something else, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's Wolverine. I am, I what, that's blanking. I mean, it's him where it's like the wolf turns in it. But I thought there was something beforehand. Um, oh my God! I'm totally blanking because we get that Xavier like mutants. They're this and that and the blah blah blah. I swear there's an opening. Oh no! It's Jean. She's talking to all the mutants again, like as like a like a meeting at the beginning of the movie. Like um like a conference or something. No, that's X one still. Is that X one still? Yeah, I'm trying to think X two. I'll maybe it'll come to me. But I felt okay. like that had an opening of a character. That I remember what you're talking about, like the Logan when he's off on his like spirit walk. But that's or not whatever. how the movie. It's starts, not how it starts right? though. Yeah. Oh my god, that's frustrating. But either way, I'm sure there's something there. Maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, you'd think they start. Oh, it was oh, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler. <laughs> Best scene. Yeah, good one. <laughs> yeah. Wow, well, how do we forget that? Yeah. Hey, but exactly right. A yeah. guy that's integral to plot, yeah. and then. Obviously, you get the gene once that works, but with Warren, it's just it's very strange. That's where it feels like that's a whole different movie. Like they're like, oh, we're gonna use him a lot, and just no, no. just strange, Not at just all. strange. Uh, and then after that, uh, we get uh, the danger room sequence where they're training. Obviously, they don't reveal right away that's a danger room and everything like that. I like this scene a lot. I, I like think there's it. good back and forth, but just Logan and everybody. There's mm-hmm. tons of stuff going on. We get the seeds of Rogue's clearly jealous of Kitty and Bobby because he just saves her, yeah. that, and she saves him. That's about yeah. it. But she obviously because they're touching takes that off. Yeah. That's not a good way. And she just feels bad because she can't touch him, right? Yeah. So, but I like the scene. I like yeah. everything. I like Logan and Storm's dynamic. Him like lighting the cigar and Colossus in the throwing car. Him. I like <laughs> yeah. that. So I like that scene. I like that they brought back Colossus from. Uh, was it? He wasn't in X one, was he? He was in X two. Remember, yeah, he two. saves. He helps he's them save yeah, the kids. Yeah, he, he's not in it too much, but I liked him in that. So seeing him again in this, he's he's kind of more of like uh, part of the team now. Mm-hmm. I like mm-hmm. seeing that. Um, well, a lot of those like characters are more part of the team and kind of working together. Yeah, so. but we still see them the same amount as we did in X two. <laughs> but not Ellen Page. That's what? a game changer. Ellen Page is in there. That's Ellen Page, I feel like, is actually in there more than uh, most of the people. Like I spent, I guess, this kind of tie, but like Ro yeah. goes missing. We'll talk about. Yeah. She's just gone for. All this movie. Yeah, she's doing her. She did doctor's thing. appointment, man. <laughs> yeah, she really <laughs> did. I forgot to shout out in the opening cre- or opening scene with Magneto and uh, Xavier that he had a purple suit on Magneto. So you know, kind of you know, staying in touch oh, with the okay, color yeah. scheme of Magneto. And it was a good yeah. suit. So, uh, and then after that, we get uh, Storm's like, "Oh, giving Wolverine a bunch of shit. You're not doing a good job." And like, "Hey, You're I'm just a sub. Yeah. yeah, I'm just a sub. Take it up with Scott." Yeah. So then we bump into Scott. He's just in his oh, room, he's so fre- emotional, bugging <laughs> out, freaking out. It's been months. He's still, but clearly, you think it's been months. Oh, we talked about this with <laughs> X2. Yeah. I feel like it's... mentioned that. I said it? months for X2, and you're like, no, nah, it's been only like a couple of weeks. No, I thought it, I, I thought I said it was like... I thought you said months, and I thought I said it was like longer. I thought it was like six months. Where this, I feel... I feel the same thing. This is like All six right. months, I feel like. Because everyone's hair is kind of different. Storm's hair is different. Uh, Again. Xavier's hair is different. Um, it's true. Uh, I don't. I can't the remember. The kids are older. Yeah, they're on the team, right? Yeah. So they've been training. Ellen so Page. It's probably gonna be like a year. I don't know. We'll never know. They, we'll I, never I, know. It's definitely Time been months. Life. I don't yeah. think it's been weeks. Yeah, I'd say it's been longer than weeks. And then Scott's mm-hmm. freaking out, and then we get a classic Wolverine and Scott uh, bump into Not each other. Not everybody heals as fast as you, Logan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I liked it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't know if you guys have anything to add on Scott. And right obviously, we're gonna talk about him, but I feel like we could just talk. Same thing as Angel, just talk about him right now and Man, get him out of the way. He was like in this movie a little bit longer than he was in X Two, wasn't he? 
<laughs> Scott? <laughs> nah. I think he just had more of like a solo-ish role. Yeah, because yeah. I guess in yeah. X2 you could kind of count in the end he is just like standing around with a lot of people, right? Where yeah. in this he literally has these two scenes of he's freaking out. Yeah. Bumps and Logan and then he goes to Alkali Lake and that's it for him. I think he had more to do in X1 than X2 100%. and X3 and three, combined. Yeah. I think oh, it's sure. like yeah. declined in each Origins. Yeah. He's in Origins more. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's still popping up, yeah. but uh, yeah, I I don't know. It's uh, like it, in the context of these movies that we've been watching, I'm not surprised he gets killed off like this. If you think about it from a comic standpoint, yeah, he's the leader of the X Men. He dies like the first 20 minutes of the movies, but in this movies, it makes sense because they don't care about this character. No, it's no, the Wolverine no, no, no. show. Like yeah. all the emotions Scott would be, you think like that could like as a person that had talked and ranted about that scene next to where they're together crying, you would think that you would keep him alive to have that, uh, that tension, you know, mm -hmm. like maybe they have separate ways of how they want to deal with the issue, but no, they just kill him off. And yeah. that's it. The other thing is he did go off to, because the guy who directed, uh, X one and two, he went off to direct Superman returns. So he also went with them. So oh. there are some scheduling things, but the plan it sounded like was always still to kill him off pretty early. So you guys got anything to add on uh Scott over here? I it's just kind of upsetting because <laughs> like he just he's just done and then that's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as we kind of it's very lackluster. About. It's very lackluster. Yeah. and it also the whole group doesn't like care about him. Like <laughs> later know. on when they talk about like when we talk about the other death scenes, they're just like, oh yeah, like you know Xavier died. And then it was like, yeah, but like Scott also died, but like you don't even bring that up. No like, kidding, I, I <laughs> he forgot got a, about that. He got a gravestone though. Oh, you know? did he? Okay. Oh, yeah. at the I end, was, he did. Yeah. I was gonna mention that when they're all like having the funeral for the professor, everyone's yeah. just like sobbing. Oh, and uh, yeah. Scott didn't get that. Yeah, no, no, Scott didn't get it at all because they all hated him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're <laughs> they trying annoying. to get him out of there. Six months of him babbling to himself, gee, <laughs> like they were done with it. Like get out of here. Uh, you got anything to add on, uh, you know, not really. It's pretty forgettable. Like, <laughs> uh, obviously it's, it's unfortunate because the character and like the role that he plays in that, like X-Men universe mm. is, is pretty like, he's kind of one of those figureheads. Like obviously he's supposed to be like the leader of the X-Men. Yeah. But, uh, they totally just wrote him off. <laughs> this movie. All you fans out there, Foggy's going to do him justice. I, tr I, I, I trust, trust you. Yeah. Trust in Foggy. He's not going to let MCU do him dirty like this. He's going to be the full on like leader of the uh, X-Men actually. So, after that, we get introduced to Beast. Uh, what do you guys are your general thoughts on Beast and Kelsey Grammer as Beast? I thought it was really good, kind of like already right off the hop. Like he really worked that role, and um, I felt like I, you know, it wasn't he wasn't acting. Like I felt like he was actually doing the role, mm -hmm. like being Beast. So. Yeah. And just see, like the way he just comes across, and I think maybe I just like the character in general a lot too. So yeah, there's something not much to not like about him. Mm -hmm. No, yeah, I I really liked him. I actually prefer him over the Nicholas Holt. Yeah, yeah Nicholas yeah. Holt. Uh I don't know, he just has that persona of like the beast and yeah. he just has the look and it, like if like you ever watched the nineteen nineties animated cartoon, it's like spot on to what yeah. Beast is. And to me whenever I think of Beast, this is what I think of all the time. Like he has yeah. such a good cadence with the character mm -hmm. and his all his dialogue and the insults him and Wolverine throw at each oh, other. Oh it's so yeah. good. It's yeah. so good. And it's like it's such a shame that like this is the only movie we have that in and like You'd think they'd do that again, and this is the only movie they have, this mm -hmm. connection all. It's very disappointing. No, I liked it. I liked all the chemistry you had with basically everyone, like whether it be a human, uh, like the the mutant storm, like he's good friends with, mm -hmm. commented on his, on you his hair. You changed your hair. Yeah. <laughs> so did I. Yeah. <laughs> or so did you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, it was good. Uh, no, I just, I really liked it, and there was like spot on casting for that role. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think about Storm's hair in this movie? She's been through a lot of changes in this I movie. didn't realize how much of the, like, how much her hair changed throughout the movies? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this one is, like, way short. I Was the first one long? The first one was remember. long, and then the yeah. second one was, like, the to the ears, and this one was, like, the... All it was like a storm the, going on. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's oh, what she said to the barber, yeah. and they're like, I don't understand <laughs> your reference. And she's like, just got my hair. <laughs> yeah, uh, I didn't mind it. I felt like... Uh, hold, quick question. When, when was, when, what year did this movie come out? 2006, I'm going to say before I look. Yeah, 2006. Okay. Uh, I was trying to picture what people's hair were like back in 06. <laughs> I think pretty similar. <laughs> kind of similar, yeah. Kind of. I feel like I, I had a teacher that's that like had that a, same that's hair. That's like that, er, like mid, oh, sorry, I should said, shouldn't say mid 2000s, but like that. It is mid two. Well, mid early 2000s. Mid aughts. Mid aughts. Mid aughts. Yeah. It's yeah. a weird word. I'm going to yeah. plead the fifth because I feel like I don't remember what the hairstyles were in 2006. I feel like I had a teacher <laughs> that had I, that I, hair. I've too. seen a lot of um, 
rap videos from oh, the okay. m- mid odds that, had the, that <laughs> had the Halle Berry Storm. Oh, 100 percent. Okay, yeah, so that was th- like the style. Do you think Storm copied that, or do you think they're like, give me the Halle Berry Storm X3 look? Because this was one of the biggest movies at the time. It made tons of money. Yeah, but then her hairstyle it like ended up being like this as well too for a long yeah. time. Yeah. Mm. So I think this is like the this is Halle Berry's for hair. Storm. Yeah. No, 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 not for Storm, but like. Her for Halle Berry. For a- her actual like yeah hair was like I'll this. disagree. I think it was shorter. Nah, fam. No, I feel like no, it was no. shorter early. Like it was shorter earlier. earlier, like in the nineties. Yeah. Let let us know what you think about <laughs> Halle Berry's hair. <laughs> it's uh, fine. At, at this point, we get a scene between Xavier and Storm. Uh, Xavier's just saying, "Hey, uh, Scott's gone. Yeah. Forget about him. We well, don't like. We don't want him here. No, this is before he's <laughs> dead. This is he kind of insinuates that he wants her to take over. Well, because Scott's all like distraught. He and, left. Like, yeah, he he's left. Just emotionally. Pass through, yeah. Logan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll miss their banter. Uh, but uh, yeah, my the only reason I brought this up because I have a note that you know Storm's in a bad mood. Whatever. So Xavier comes on the balcony oh, and she just has the scene. weather dark and he's like, oh, what's going on? She's like, sorry. No, he's like, the forecast sunny. said sunny, yeah, yeah. clear skies or whatever. <laughs> and I'm yeah. just like, to me, it's like, what a bitch. She's in a bad mood and she's making the weather bad for everyone else. Like, go away. Like, <laughs> screw well, you. <laughs> screw <laughs> no, no, maybe she can't control that. <laughs> maybe she can't, but it seemed like she could. Like, so if you're like, upset and you can control the weather, you're not going to be like, oh, I'm going to make it nice and sunny for everybody else mm-hmm. when I'm. I feel Even like she couldn't you. control it. That, that's, yeah. that's just a guess, but I okay, I'll agree with you, Vasquez. Yeah. But if she could, I, I stand oh, by total my statement. Scumbag. <laughs> clearly, total scumbag. I think we are all in agreement. She'd be the de facto leader if Cyclops is effing off. Yeah, hundred percent. I yeah. still think she should probably be the leader over uh, s- over Star- s- Well, Cyclops at in least these movies. in like yeah, in the movies. So yeah, <laughs> yeah. keyword there. <laughs> like first uh, what twenty minutes of X two, he got kidnapped. Like, oh man, if she would, if he would have brought Storm to see Magneto, they probably wouldn't find. She sent a lightning <laughs> yeah. bolt down, but Scott's gonna. Is that Scott's having a tough time with security guards in these movies? Yeah, I think. Well, Storm in general, she's a lot more. I guess in these movies, is very like straightforward thinking and like mm-hmm. which doesn't really like get her emotions get to her too much. Mm-hmm. I and also well, think that's just lazy writing because I think they didn't want to give do the struggle of writing her to give her emotions. So they're just like, oh, she's a straightforward character. Oh, is that what you think? I think so. Like, what? How does she develop in this movie? She doesn't yeah, change at all, right? Like, she no one changes. The leader ish. <laughs> that's but like her situation, but her as a person. The only person that I guess would change is Rogue, mm-hmm. and maybe I guess Wolverine would, but like it's very quick. We'll talk just about like, that. Yeah, he, yeah, you know, but I don't. She, who was she? At the, the, I think the only thing that's changed from her at the start of this franchise to this one is like she lost her accent. Other than that, like she's in no development. I know hair, nothing hair about well. and hair, but like I know nothing about her still. You know, yeah, like that's a fair point. I didn't really like pick up on it. Yeah, well, but I know nothing about Scott. Other no, than like yeah. I know nothing about. Most of people, and I guess like actually true. to kind of go back, I kind of wish that I I guess this movie is about like Gene and like Rise of the Phoenix, but and like Logan, it's always about and Logan. Logan. <laughs> but I kind of wish we got this like little intro about her earlier, like who's X one or X two? Gene? Gene, yeah. I think they didn't want to do that though because that would spoil them potentially killing her off and bring in Phoenix, though, right? So they they wanted to hold that back if they were planning it because if they show you a flashback of her being real powerful, you'd be like, oh, it clearly is going to happen. Where mm-hmm. as non comic book people. You don't have that idea. Oh, she's this evil yeah. force. Yeah, but right? then they give it to you at like the beginning of the movie. Yeah, because this movie's about her, right? So I guess this is the only time they could do it. There's no foreshadowing anymore. She's on the poster. She's definitely yeah. coming back, right? So <laughs> yeah, make that true. work up. You yeah, know? I, I guess now I'd feel bad for Storm because she could have had a lot more to do. Oh yeah, they could have de- really developed that. Yeah. All of them could have had a lot more. Instead of the whole angel scene, they could have had this. Oh yeah, they did not need an angel in this movie at all. No, <laughs> no, they didn't need like real like. We'll get into it because we're getting more on the cure, but they don't really need the key. like. They should have well, decided either the cure or Dark Phoenix. You don't do both. Yeah, no, okay, but that, that's a good <laughs> point. I was I was gonna say you can't really have like the cure without like the the angel like conflict between him like trying to hide it from his dad. And you his could dad's. though, because well, yeah. how does he affect the actual X Men though? Right, he doesn't. Uh, he goes to the mansion and asks. I know this is a bad time. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Xavier just died. Well, you to fool. be fair, before that, <laughs> they were like, "Okay, well, the school's gonna have to be shut down." And he shows up, and then Storm's like, "No, it's still a school." Mm-hmm. Maybe she's like, "No, I think I'm out." And then this guy comes <laughs> in. It's like, "Oh yeah, no, I, I got, I gotta be there for him." <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then at this point, we get introduced to what is going. 
going on with the Brotherhood of Mutants. So there's a big meeting going on at a church. Mm-hmm. They're talking about because they just the B scene was just them saying we found a mutant that could create a cure. And they're just talking yeah. about the dangers of that. Yeah. This is uh, we see Mystique. We see Pyro, who is awful hair in this movie. Oh, uh, nice. Magneto's there. He's frosted gross. tips, doesn't he? So bad. 100%. Yeah. So all Product his, of its time. Any intimidation yeah. that's a, he had. That's a mid, <laughs> mid uh, odds. <laughs> hey, Bo- Bobby had that in like the previous movies, didn't he? He did, he but did. Pyro stole it. But yeah. Bobby's not supposed to be evil, you know? And like if that guy is supposed to be evil. Frosted tips and evil look. Uh, no, but I mean, like, I feel like you're supposed to be the evil side intimidating. The second I saw Pyro, I'm like, Yeesh, that's not intimidating. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, not at all. no you're, I could kick his ass. I don't have powers. I wish, man. like, he had, like, I, like, even that whole little squad that they have there for, like, this brotherhood. Their suicide squad. Like, you think he would have, like, some sort of better costume than just, like, wearing regular clothes. <laughs> he, like, ben, driving, like, he he like driving s- gloves. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a sweater. Yeah. Like, yeah, and then I thought he can't create fire. He can only manipulate it. He but can't, but, like, Magneto gave him, yeah. like, almost like an insta lighter on his wrist. It's like so a he spark just flicks it. So yeah, that he yeah. can, like, get oh. Like, remember I that kid that. from Us? Yeah. He has yeah. no spoilers. Okay. Come on. No, no, no. But there's it's a fr- this kid. Uh, just, <laughs> this kid literally just has like a fl- like a flicker like toy that can create a okay. little spark. That's it. It's no okay. spoiler at all. But yeah, so he has a device now where he can just like insta fire. So insta fire. Yeah. So they're trademark just that. they're just going on about. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's probably trademarked somewhere. <laughs> oh, the Shamwall guy has yeah. it. Um, they're going off about like, oh, the cure is gonna blah blah blah. It's gonna affect us, and the main guy's like, they're they're not gonna enforce the cure. And then Magneto just add the background. It's like they goes, never blah blah blah. He, oh, yeah. yeah, they they that never. That was a bad quote from they, me. Uh, <coughs> <laughs> they never blah 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 blah. <laughs> you actually, I had the quote, and you made me just forget it. <laughs> oh he, no, I think he I'm said, sorry. I think he said something like, they never uh, uh, force uh, force something. They just do it, and then yeah. he stands up. One thing I hate about this scene is everyone kind of like looks like Adam, like what's going on. I feel like everyone know who the fuck Magneto is, and I feel like everyone treats him like this is the first time we're meeting Magneto. Didn't you? Did no one get that vibe from all the other I mean, mutants? Well, well, Pyra, I don't even remember what his real name is. I guess, but they're not really looking at him as a leader. They're just looking at like some the, old dude, the, some guy who just keeps. He doesn't have the But to me, uncle. he is in these movies. He was like the first mutant to like strike back at the humans, right? Yeah. Oh, to me, this would be like the like, oh, we should listen to this guy. Maybe He's, not everyone you know. watches the news though. <laughs> Apparently, yeah, not, that yeah. or yeah, that's true too. Yeah. That's a good point. <laughs> <laughs> but then, like, once Pyro was like, "Don't you know who this is?" Everyone was like, "Whoa, okay, I kind of know who this guy is." Some people, there's the one girl who does the shockwave. She just always looks confused. She's Always. There's God. nothing going on with that character. <laughs> oh, like. There's nothing between the ears <laughs> on that oh, guy. The lights that are girl. on, but no one's yeah. home. No, 100%. Uh, uh, yeah, and then uh, what do you think about the scene? Obviously, we got... Uh, I cannot remember all some of these people introduced because I'm a huge X Men fan, but I mean, but there's thousands of mutants that I forget. So, so. There was one mutant that was like cr- crawling on the wall. It looked like you kind of had like a long time. I'm like, man, Toad's back. What's going on some here? Some people do think that's Toad after yeah. like a lightning strike. You think he'd be like, Magneto, what's up? But that, <laughs> <laughs> no. that doesn't happen. I'm, I'm still good, man. Put me in, coach. <laughs> no, you failed us last yeah. time, man. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I just find that whole like scene to kind of like them grouping up. I like I don't I can get why like Magneto is like people are who is this guy, like who is this guy who thinks he could be the, our leader type thing, and this guy's but don't you know who this guy is? Yeah, I, <laughs> I guess you kind of <laughs> do, but like it's like oh I kind of know you, but why should I follow you? Like you don't yeah. give me any reason. Well, they do remember he's a class uh, four mutant. Remember they that's Kay. introduced. Yeah, but in no, this, no this one knows that system. System. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. the whole yeah. classing system. I had a big. Well, let's get into Question it because it's introduced. That, yeah. We've never had this in any movies, <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to pull up the the mutants in this one so I can actually refer to them. So as well, there's the <coughs> the, the two spike w- guy who's yeah, completely guy. useless. I love that he, that standoff <laughs> that he had with Pyro though, and, and then you he's like, go? he's <laughs> like, don't, don't you know who you're talking to? He like pulls up his Insta flame, yeah. and then he's like, don't you? And he just pulls out like his puffer fish, and it's like, look. no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are just bluffing. Where were you in Hex 2? <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel like even though with his frosted tips, Pyro could kick the shit out of this <laughs> yeah. guy. Yeah. He just has to ignite. But that's what I mean. Like, he's got, like but maybe that's what they're trying to show is that who are these people who just come in here like thinking yeah. like they could just run the show? And so they're like, well, like obviously Pyro some like punk kid who's trying to like show up and it's like, who are you? Like, <laughs> step <laughs> off. <laughs> step <laughs> off. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, yeah. So, I'm trying to, I'll try to figure out who has yeah. it. But she enters the classing system, and that's how they kind of go, like, oh, so you, she goes, oh, I know no one in this room is uh, higher than a class three than you two. So, they don't specif- uh, specifically say what 
like class Magneto and John are. I would hope that Magneto is a higher class than Pyro, even though Pyro <laughs> oh, is. Yeah. But like the way they the way they phrase that, they phrase it like they're the same level. And to me, it's yeah. like no, and then it, over. Yeah, yeah and then it leads to like can be like, oh, can you find one for me? But yeah, what do you want to think about, or what do you want to bring up with this classing well, system? So, well, at first I was gonna mention the chick. I I obviously don't know her I know, name. I'm trying to figure She's it out. She's like fast and can. Callisto. Callisto. Ooh. Yeah, to me they really pulled some deep, uh, some deep uh, cuts for the uh, mutants here. Go ahead. What do you mean by that? Well, because like even me, Marvel's like. Oh, you I'm, don't know I'm, who they are. Yeah, oh, like okay. I or I have a general idea. I think the one that sends shockwaves is also like a combination of two, and that's the problem with like early Marvel movies that f me up as a kid. Is a lot of times like let's just combine these characters, yeah. and it's like. This eight year old trying to learn, and she's like, "Oh fuck, I don't know who this is now." So, but yeah. like, even for me as an X Men fan, that's my favorite Marvel, and I'm not like you know the biggest comic book fan. I, I don't want to see any comics. Like, oh, you're not a fan? Yeah, there's millions of different fans out there that know a lot more than me. But I, this is definitely like some of these people are deep cuts that they are pulling out. I think for mm. this one, and I don't know, I don't know why, because Callisto's there, cool. Yeah. But go, so Callisto is who we're. Uh, dealing with yes sorry i had asked that question and i think well i think it's fine because even with let's i'm just kind of stepping back from this our question here is that all these i find like these early x-men movies kind of like as what you're saying for these comic books they don't really seem like there's some sort of like timeline or like there's no like bigger idea thought process that we see now with obviously with the MCU. Oh yeah, yeah just no, one hundred percent. It's, it's yeah. kind of like one guy's just like, yeah. wouldn't it be cool if we had classes for yeah. like the the X Men? Yeah, <laughs> and that's like how like the Spider Man film. Well, not really. Like, it's just like. Well, they all. I think they all kind of worked that way till Faye stepped in. Like even yeah. now, you look at Shazam and Aquaman. They kind of have some ties, but they're not really. They're going back to that now, that right? Because sc- it yeah. didn't work. But I, I think these more so than. Mm-hmm. I feel like nowadays, even directors will sit down and be like, "Oh, if I did make a second one, this is what I do." Mm-hmm. I feel like early two thousand comic book movies were just one at a time, and yeah. we'll deal with it as it goes along and, and see what happens. Yeah, and I yeah. and it also is like especially as we. I think you're also saying that because of Origins, which you just watched. <laughs> I feel like yeah. as this franchise goes on, they just just do not pay any attention to continuity or whatnot. They just yeah. go like, just make, they, they treat all these movies like they're else world sometimes like the Joker movie where it's like, Oh, just play around with it and do a else world. Some of these just feel like that. They don't feel like they're in the same universe. What do you want to talk yeah. about these classes? Uh, I was just, I want to know. <laughs> I, I, yeah. I wanted to know like where they came from. I wasn't sure if it was an actual like comic book thing. Did no, no, actually? no. I, oh, okay. not that I know. No, yeah. this is, st- they maybe could have put in the movie or comics at some point, but yeah. this is, this is not a popular thing from comics I've read or the cartoon series of like classes. Okay. Well, are they just trying to like uh, really push home or push forward the uh, meaning of how strong Phoenix is if she's this class one? Yeah, I and think all so. These people are like pretty weak as. Yeah, and I think it's also weak for ass. like the mainstream people <laughs> that kind of get it like, oh, okay, it's their class, whatever, yeah. and she's class that. But I don't think you you needed that. No, you know? not no, at all. No. Not at all. And like I wanted to ask you for unless like, you're Callisto. making baseball cards, but <laughs> <laughs> or maybe uh, again like just showing that they're just more powerful than everyone yeah, else yeah. in the room, right? Like forgetting the past two movies over Magneto has <laughs> led <to> multiple <laughs> anti human terrorist attacks but <laughs> that callisto character so when she so she knows where titan or titans she knows where mutants are she can track them apparently and does she know and she knows their powers or she knows how powerful they are i think she knows how powerful they are yeah so it's yeah. like and did she see is she looking at you and seeing like oh travis class two yeah, I, I guess so, which I don't understand. Yeah. I don't even yeah. understand how she There's can. There's a lot really of gray areas. I don't even <laughs> understand how she can track down a mystique. I'm pulling <laughs> up her comic book, so her abilities mm-hmm. are, yeah, like I don't even. That's what I mean with these movies. Why I may know this character, but not abilities. Um, <laughs> uh, superhuman senses, heightened strength, speed, agility, reflexes, accelerated healing factor. So I feel like you know the part where her and Storm fight and she's moving really quick. Mm-hmm. I legitimately feel like that's her actual power. And in the movie, they're just like, we're going to give her some of this. Because, like, I never remember that. And from comic book, like I said, those are abilities don't list any of, oh, she can sense this. So yeah. this is why, like, I probably don't know her because this version is not, I don't think it's a real version. It's just like, oh, this character is kind of cool. But we need we need someone to do this for a plot point with class. So I'll just give it to her. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I, I just ha- I had to ask that because I was so confused watching Fair that. Fair enough. You know, it's <laughs> there, don't worry. There, there's <coughs> lots of stuff to, uh, we'll go over quick like Scott because we don't have much to talk about i think we so already done rip, scott, rip scott. We? <laughs> we'll bring him up uh quickly uh let's see um where are we okay yeah so, so this is the part where we talked about scott but this is the part where he goes to alkali lake he had those visions gene is just in this bubble randomly um 
And then she's just like, I can control it now and all this. I, I, I know it's a movie and I know it's going to pan out all right. But when she asked him to open his eyes, and he's like, no. And she's like, I can control it. And he still does it. I would still be like, well, could you just still like at least step to the side and let me like, what happens if she didn't? And he just blew her the fuck away. Oh, he'd be so much more depressed <laughs> than yeah. he already was. Like <laughs> that would be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> You're back, Gene. Uh, what do we think? We talked about Scott Dion, but what do we think about the actual death scene of like, them kissing her, like kind of turning like in him into like I don't know, he's type of veiny and like I don't know what's happening it's to him. But like sucking his power. It's, it's kind of like a rogue. Yeah. What like, do we like, think like, about like Jean's actual reveals Phoenix and her killing Scott off? Like we talked about Scott, but we didn't talk about her yet. And she's back officially, very it's, powerful. I'm kind of conf- so. Why did she kill him? Because she's the Dark Phoenix, right? She just wants more power. But like, why? Because she's not Jean anymore. Because right? he had to go film Superman Returns. <laughs> but like in but our she's script, not Jean anymore though. Right? But even it is weird because like. They don't give the Phoenix any motivation for her to be doing anything. They kind of do. I kind of think with the cure stuff because you kind of be like, okay. Oh, okay. Or even with Xavier, I could see because like, oh, he's trying to control. Like put the, as Logan says, like five times this movie, put the beast back in the cage. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like we get it, Logan Wolverine. You were experiment years ago. Fuck. Mm. But um, I, th- <laughs> I, I don't have a solid answer for you why she tries to skill Scott because – he doesn't try to stop her. He didn't do anything. Like it's he just she just kills him. Yeah. And he didn't. Well, obviously, like I guess you're not gonna fight back because you think like this is the person you love and all. Well, this I don't think he saw it coming. I think it was too late for him. Oh it, yeah, it's I not guess. like his powers <laughs> even worked. <laughs> like she just yeah like, she deep turned off his eye. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's true too. I might have just missed something, but I was under the impression that she was just like absorbing his power. So you think he's not dead? No, like I think. That's why she killed him. Is like I can oh. take this guy's life force and become stronger. But we don't get that said in the movie either, no, right? Exactly. I like yeah. I don't know if I missed it. it. It's I was not just like, oh, like, no. like killing other people to do that same thing and feeding yeah, off their energy. I guess that's fair. Yeah. It's just it was just really weird. There, yeah, they like what Travis said. It's just like they did not give the Phoenix any, or they, they didn't flesh it out for like any motivation to do anything. Well, no, and because like so, other than Scott's problems, the whole movie it's like this happens like twenty five half an hour in, and the whole movie has been like. The cure, this and that. Magneto's talking about the cure. And then all of a sudden, Scott's on a bike going to Akka Lake. And you're like, right, Gene's in this movie and the Dark Phoenix in this movie. And it just pops like so many times. Like, I know it's a spoiler. Not a spoiler. I'm jumping to the end. But when the, they win the big battle and Logan's just like, Gene, it's over. And all those like soldiers shoot at her. It's just like, right, we have to close up this Phoenix thing. She's not a part of that battle at all. And no. then she's just like, they win and just like, Rah! and then it goes to shit. It's like every, that's what it feels like every time she's in this, they just feel like, they forgot about the Phoenix storyline. Like, right, put her back so in. so many different plots <laughs> Yeah, on. where can we fit her in? Oh, we'll put her here. Yeah. Perfect. Like, other than the maybe once we get back to her place, other than that, she's just, like, falling Magneto around. She's walking around. She's flying around. Like, she doesn't, like, like why does she kill? I don't know. She's just evil. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Definitely lazy writing on around there. Talking about evil people, this is when we get Magneto and his uh, band of mutants. They're breaking Mystique out, and they're also uh, collecting. Right. So they, we meet uh, Multiple Man. We meet juggernaut and do we meet anyone else there i don't think so i think it's just those it's yeah. the, those two with mystique yeah. to me this is the moment where this actually felt like a bad mcu movie because the like the juggernaut's humor and his jokes to me this just felt like a mere dimension I'm like man this would be the mcu if it was bad oh, you man. know like this I, I totally pictured him as like rhino like 100 <laughs> percent oh, like his yeah, look from, yeah. but like this movie to me like there's so many quips but like s- most of them don't work like other than the beast and logan stuff like the humor in this doesn't work but yeah and then obviously we get the cure is weaponized what do we think about this and mystique gets taken out and uh left behind oh right i forgot she got shot and yeah, then another oh, character. Man, that was so cold for yeah. magneto just 100 percent. and like obviously we have not gone there yet in this like world where you go back in time and you like realize like how close those two are They're and couple, like yeah. yeah like you feel like there's like like that would be a lot more important to him than if pyro got shot right yeah <laughs> no 100 percent. she's not one of us anymore mm. i kind of blocked that part out another character just <laughs> gone very oh, quickly yeah. that's it she pops I mean, at the end she, yeah, she she's, 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 yeah. I, I like that the end when he or like at the after that scene he's walking away and she's like he's like she was so beautiful and everything like that yeah. but that one i it will get to it i still feel like i get that she's not one of them but yeah it just feels like they've been through so much it'd still be like yeah i don't know maybe she could she still she might s- she, she might been, still yeah. be on your side because like oh i understand what you guys are going through you know but just to turn so that to me I can kind of work it, but it doesn't really fit with the Magneto we've gotten so far. Yeah. Um, let's see. And then at this point, how do we get what? How do we get Storm? And because uh, my notes completely jumped, how do we get uh, 
Logan and Storm to go to Alkali Lake at this point. Oh, because um, they're looking for Scott. Scott. Yeah, Xavier like felt something. Right, in the and course. he's like, "Go to Alkali Lake." Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah. So they go there. It's all floaty and shit. Yeah. And then I'm jumping for it, but they find Gene, and then this is the part where Logan and uh, Xavier have their conversation about how Xavier's like, "Oh, I had to." He gives the backstory of this Phoenix, mm. blah blah blah. How he had to lock mm. her up. Logan makes this crack about the putting the animal in the cage yeah. and everything. And then uh, Logan and Gene. Gene wakes up. There's some hot and heavy action going on. Gene turns. Well, Logan's like, hey, where's Scott? She kind of is flipping in and out of Logan or Gene. Gene oh, so many names. Gene, and Gene the in the Phoenix. And then uh, it goes to shit and she escapes. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know how I feel about this scene. It was. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I, I just felt like it. Like, it kind of makes sense because Logan's just so blinded with his love for Jean, right? Mm -hmm. And obviously, that's what he sees. He doesn't see her as the phoenix of this evil character and, like, how dangerous she actually is. But, like... Well, even having that background story of, like, what um, Xavier was doing to her as well, too, I think he has that more emotional attachment to it. I feel like I've, like, blinked or something when that scene happened. Because remember earlier when I was asking, like, how they, like, caged her up in the first place? I think I just missed that part. But, uh... Was it Logan that like let her out? Because I, I I felt like she just did it. Like she just would have got out even if Logan wasn't there. She did just well. I think she. Because he's just sitting yeah. there and like the screens just come up or whatever, and she just pops up. I can't remember. Maybe he did he like touch the headgear? Maybe I'm not sure. He might have just been like brushing her hair or something. <laughs> Oops, <laughs> bumped this off. But uh, <laughs> yeah, I think she was gonna escape no matter yeah. r- uh, what. I think maybe the idea because Xavier Rayway comes back, he's like, "What did you do?" <laughs> I think the idea is that he didn't like call anyone right away. That she woke up, but he should have been like, "I'm gonna buzz the professor." He took his time to like he thought think. he could fix it, yeah, <laughs> or do something else. <laughs> for a while, he was Hey-o. not yeah, yeah. like good for Logan. He did turn her down, but like for a while, it wasn't going that route, you know. So yeah. scumbag Logan coming in, and you know, <laughs> Scott's <laughs> dad. <laughs> <laughs> he thought yeah. it through, but it took a little while to get there. Yeah. So, uh, Kyle, what do you think about this scene? It's uh, it was great. <laughs> <laughs> no. Did you not remember this scene? Well, I guess so. We c- we're kind of jumping back. We're talking about um. At the Alcala Lake? No, this is at well, the... Well, combining no. it all. Like, when they found Jean, oh. they bring her back. I don't even remember. Like, how did they find Jean? Was she just walking? No, she, no she's just she's on the ground. On the ground. <laughs> she's laying on the oh. ground, and then they pick her up, and they're like, where's Scott? And then I think they find, like, some his sunglasses or something like Floating. that. Floating, yeah. Floating, so... That looked look pretty cool. Like, <laughs> I, I guess it's just, like, very, like, lackluster of, like, why... Like, it goes back to why is Scott dead? But then we're back at, like... We don't even, like... This just makes me so, so frustrated. So many question marks. Because, th- just because Scott is gone, <laughs> and we don't even like go in depth of like what's happening or, yeah. or like no, none of the er- other characters like give any acknowledgement to this <laughs> at all. Logan, Logan does ask where's Scott, and then we never hear about it again. Yeah, it's like he's <laughs> a ghost. Well, back at the mansion when they're macking, and then he's like, "What happened to Scott?" Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You yeah, having I some issues over there, Travis? I am, but just ignore me, Taylor. <laughs> 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 um, and, and then even uh, when they're back at the at the mansion as well, too. Like I didn't think it was too bad. It was exciting. Just I'm turning it off. <laughs> <laughs> Turn your mic off. <laughs> I still hear it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so when they're back at the mansion and they're kind of just going through the the motions of everything that what's going on. I think like even at that part, like for me, it was it was just kind of all right. Like even even though it's nice to see like Logan reconnect with um with Jean again and like trying to like help her like figure out what's going on because he's got this background information of what's yeah. happened and that's why he has like a lot of sympathy for her and you know what like he should have like talked to Professor X to like try yeah. to like make things better but he was also an animal in a cage once too so he understands so he understands (laughs) no i i I agree with what you're saying though because that whole scene with how like important it should have been of like gene died in the last movie it was huge logan was hit like his lover is gone yeah and then scott's just missing like you know he was there because his glasses were there and it felt like that whole uh just scene of after they get Jean and go back to the mansion and then she escapes. Like, I felt like you just floated through that. It's just like, there's nothing even really here. I don't know. It just, mm. it felt like it could have been so much more meaningful than it actually was. hundred percent. Yeah. Yeah. 
And then after that, the I think the evil mutants are still just kind of hanging out. And then uh, Callisto's like, oh, I've got a reading of a mutant that's like class five, higher than you two, higher than I've ever read. And then we get the scene of we got Magneto and his crew going to Jean's house. And then we got Xavier Storm oh, yeah, and she's Logan. There. She, yeah, she's oh, there weird. going to her house. And then, uh, yeah, what do we think about the events that fold here? Obviously, you got Xavier trying to talk Jean Bat, or talk Phoenix back into Gene. You got Magneto, who's not helping the situation, but he's just like, you've always hold her back. And then um, it leads to big fight scenes going on, and then it leads to uh, Gene killing Xavier. Another death within, I don't know, first 45 minutes. It's like three of them. So. He totally just vanished, too. Like, I... I wasn't convinced he was even dead, honestly. I was like, he just got transported to, like, another realm. Because <laughs> he, just, he just poofs. He well, just he does kind of. I forgot to make you guys watch it beforehand, but there is an end credit scene at this movie. Oh. Um, oh. Yeah, I forgot. So at the beginning of the movie, when he's talking that Dr. Mora Tagred, who which doesn't make sense timeline because Mora is, uh, ends up being that young girl in first class that he has a relationship with. Mm. But in this movie, he is, uh, like, a six-year-old man, and she is in her like mid 30s so it doesn't make sense but whatever that's the i, I digress yeah. yeah um she's talking about how if it's right to go in a conscious body it's the guy in the coma and talking about like the idea of could you go into a conscious body but is that right for you to do at the end of this movie he does like the end credit scene is this coma guy you don't see his face but more is like working on some stuff and he's like hello Mora, and she's like charles so he like put his consciousness into some other person's body oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. wow what yeah. a dude yep so maybe that explains why he just uh, evaporated, but he did evaporate. So what do we think about this? It was kind of ups- upsetting, like uh, like uh, <laughs> what do you, what do you emotionally, mean, like emotionally, emo- yeah. emotionally, like kind of just watching Xavier just like I don't know, like snap, like flick, just dust away, Thanos style, just yeah. Thanos out, yeah. Um, and you know, like even the kind of like the I don't know why there's so much fighting happening as well too. Like, well, they didn't want them to get to Gene. Yeah, I, I guess, but like, I I feel like there's like a lot of unnecessary stuff of just like this f- the whole fight scenes going up to it, and I guess it, I guess you don't want to get her to Gene, but and you're trying to work to together to like, but I, th- I don't know, I'm confused. Yeah. Someone else talk. <laughs> <laughs> I well, really like the scene. I need to get my thoughts. Uh, the yeah, whole yeah. scene, like once they get to the house. <laughs> Like what happened to the family okay. that was living there in the first place? I like, uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't know what happened to him. I like, I like the ending of this scene because I like, I think the person that sells it the best. This is why we even will get into origins and whatnot. But I think Hugh Jackman and Xavier do a good job at making this scene, even though it's very rushed, even though it's uh, should be done much better, even though. There's been so much about the cure. You still care about Xavier, and you've had X1 and X2. So it is this killing of a major character. And I, I love Xavier when he just, like, his last, like, lines to her, Gene, just, like, don't let it control you. And I like that even in his last moments. He's still just trying to help her yeah. out. And I think that the score is really good in this moment when, like, Gene's losing her mind. She's put everyone on the roof, and you just see Logan clawing his way, and he's trying to get there. And I think he just sells it so great. Him just yelling no. And that moment when he – and even – I'll give it to Halle Berry, too, when they – like Xavier blows up and even too they do a great thing they have Magneto be like Charles like they show even in this moment yeah. he's like feeling bad I that really like that yeah. yeah his friend's about to die and the moment when uh, Wolverine runs back in the house and all you see is the chair and he just like looks at Storm and so like they both have that realization and he just collapsed to his knees and she like falls on top of him and it's like I said to me, it's a great scene in a not so great movie. That yeah. scene should have so much more build up. It's such a big character. But if you just isolate that, isolate that scene alone, I think with the score and the production and the acting, it's done really well. And to me, it is like Xavier or Patrick Stewart does a good job. But I think it's just Hugh Jackman's emotions in that scene mm-hmm. legitimately sell like the weight of what yeah. just happened. I, you know, and I, I I agree with b- what both of you guys said because like you you brought a good points about like it was such a good scene in a bad movie, and then you brought a good scene. It's just like. Or uh, you brought up a good point, rather, of you uh, a good scene, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. about like the build up to that scene was just so like, yeah, it was just so convoluted. And the and, fight's like, messy. When no, the like, fights are messy. Yeah. Literally, Bing Neil's like, keep them out of the house, and J- Juggernaut hits Wolverine and throws him into the house, and it's just like, what is going on yeah. here? It Don't was let just him get into the house. <laughs> okay, I'll throw him into the house. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was just an action scene for the sake of an action scene. I think that that part was at least. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, what what you mentioned, I wanted to touch upon is uh. The moment that Charles actually like poofs and then Magneto, because it's like that's basically his rival, but like it's Magneto, yeah, exactly. Like he never would have thought that he would be the one killing Charles, right? Or even like seeing him die. It's just yeah. like he's always gonna be around. He's always gonna be my my Joker, my, my Batman, right? So 
when that actually happens and he's just like shocked like i that actually happened mm-hmm. and then you know evil magneto comes back oh come here uh come here gene mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> the, no one can control you now and they do a good setup later on when pyro's like oh if you would have given me the chance or i killed the old man oh my myself God, yeah. oh and yeah. he just <laughs> stops him yeah. and he's like he just lays down the law like, you have no idea that, what yeah. xavier did for me and so don't yeah. even talk about yeah. that and that's what's strange because you have that magneto but then you also have that magneto who left mystique and also i'm jumping forward a little bit is the big battle scene when he sends out all those guys and he says the pawns go first. Mm-hmm. My Magneto, who my ideas would not do that yeah. to me. He does not view other That's mutant his brothers, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. To me, the X one X two Magneto does not fit a lot of what he does there. So for him to mm-hmm. refer to other people of his kind as pawns, we're like, whoever is writing this movie does not understand yeah. what Magneto is. They have a, a few ideas, but they do not get the whole grasp well, of the character because he would not do that. And that's why it's strange in this movie. Sometimes he is old Magneto, and other times he's just like, I'm evil, and I'm here to yeah. fuck up the X-Men. You, you, you hit the nail on the head right there. That's exactly what I was going to say because it's yeah. like Magneto is so not the normal Magneto from like even just the past two movies, let alone like the comics and mm-hmm. everything. But it's just like he's so all over the place, and then you get a scene like the Charles scene or yeah. when he says Pyro, like you have no idea what that guy did for me. Yeah, right. like, oh, that's Magneto. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then he's just like, oh, yeah, she's not one of us no more. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the pawns go for it. Like just – I yeah. don't know. It was definitely a mess with like uh, some bright patches in there. I mm-hmm. feel. Also, I got a question. I saw Stan Lee cameo. W- was yeah. it in that scene or was it at the it beginning? It was at the beginning. Okay. Yeah, because yeah. when Jean's doing all that stuff, the water goes right. Up, so. Yeah, when he's yeah. hosing. Yeah. yeah, when he's hosing. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, did you have anything to add, or you want to just leave it with your thoughts on that? I I think so. I think I I was trying to get my thoughts out at the beginning, and then I think you hit it because. I yeah. had a problem with the fight at the beginning until but you liked the scene. But I liked the yeah. scene of when Gene starts going like brings up the whole house and the, the intensity goes up and the fights are now done and it's just between <laughs> Gene yeah. and Xavier and when they're just like looking at each other and then even when he goes and he looks and Logan like opens up the door and then he looks at Xavier oh and yeah, Xavier like looks at him that last smile and it gives him like that grin yeah and, and you're like. Oh man! And he, Logan he, knows what's coming too, yeah, like, and he's like Charles, and I love you. See, like the skin on his like knuckles, like yeah, burning off. Yeah, really yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah. So that was it. Uh, my only thing I had on that scene to add as a uh, negative is when they Xavier and Magneto are going back and forth about like you know don't control her. You've always held her back. Blah blah blah. And he's talking about like to control it, and Magneto's like, I think he wants to give you the cure. <laughs> <laughs> and for me, it's like she has no context of what you're talking about because she's been in a fucking like bubble yeah. for years. And then she was at the mansion. She broke out then went to her parents. So she has no idea what Magneto's talking mm-hmm. about. It's just them trying to add back in like, oh, remember, That's this so is the funny. same movie. I, like, totally I think you want to give her the that. cure. And she, what does this matter to her? She's totally she, just trying to throw gas <laughs> on the fire. Yeah, yeah. Like she has no idea what you're talking about. But that yeah. I think was just, again, like them trying to interweave these storylines and it doesn't work yeah. out. Uh, yeah, and then after that, yeah, Xavier's <laughs> dead. And there's just one little thing I love, like Wolverine when he's on the ground, Hugh Jackman on his knees. He's just like punching the sky. He's just so mad, but he's like, you can tell he's just exhausted. Just like little things that Jackman does. So fantastic. Uh, Magneto pimps off with Gene, like, let's get you out of here. Then we get the funeral. And we haven't really talked about this um, because it was in my notes, so we kind of skipped over it. So at the funeral, we got Xavier. So yeah, Scott, no funeral, but Xavier, funeral, huge gravestone. He even gets like a nice little fire going on all the yeah. time. Uh, so it's very sad and everything like that. Uh, everyone's dressed up nice. Logan's not. He's just on the balcony watching this all go down. Classic Wolverine. So we haven't talked about this at all, but Bobby is sitting in between Rogue and Kitty, and he holds both their hands. Ayo. There's a scene we didn't talk My about man. earlier in the movie. <laughs> There's a scene they we didn't talk about earlier in the movie where Rogue's kind of she's pissy about something and right. Bobby's like oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah Bobby's yeah, like yeah, what and right. Bobby's like what's wrong and then she just I can't remember how it comes along but she just says something like I know what you want that's what every guy does yeah. and then just you're like, a boy Bobby yeah, <laughs> yeah. boys only want one thing yeah, that's yeah. That exactly it so like we hinted about there is this like pseudo love triangle going on of but not really but there is of as far as Rogue and Bobby are together. Bobby and Kitty, Kitty. are just friends, but yeah. like, cause she sees them touching, hanging out. She's getting jealous, and even so. And let's talk about this because we haven't talked about it at all. I oh, don't the juicy think, drama. Yeah, I. So I think at this point, completely, Bobby has the high ground. He can say whatever he wants, 
And I get that Xavier has died, but I think it was a little ballsy at the funeral to be holding both their hands. Oh, and it didn't add anything good to this situation. So what do we think about all of them? Bobby, Rogue, and Kitty for the first time being paid, played by Ellen Page in this movie. So what do we think about this dynamic? Well, right off, the, right off the hop, I'm a notorious Ellen Page like fanboy. Mm-hmm. So I'm obviously in Team Ellen in Page this, yeah. and Team Kitty in this one. But... uh that's totally just like my young, my younger days, just totally crushing on that character. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I don't know. Rogue was, I don't know. Like, if you think, like, if you look at it from her point of view, obviously it's a shitty situation. Like, you have this boyfriend that oh, you yeah. can't, you can't even kiss, you can't touch or anything, and then her life's a shitty. Situation. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That yeah, that yeah, we'll get to because so there's a scene coming out with her and Storm, and Storm yeah. is one of the most self righteous. <laughs> pe- oh no, that was earlier. We'll get to. I'll bring it up, but it's yeah. Yeah, she. And so her she and Logan as well too. I had a good scene though. Mm-hmm. That was after the Her after Logan. the funeral. Yeah, because she's, yeah. yeah, she's thinking about leaving, right? And Logan's like, I hope you're not thinking of leaving about for just for some boy. Do it for the good reason. And they have a great reason. scene, but that's the only interaction they have again, which sucks. But I can I f- understand, but I love their chemistry. I forgot too. about that scene. I actually really liked it too. Because yeah. it's like I'm not like I'm not your dad. I'm not gonna stop you. But yeah, yeah. I just wanted you to do it for the right reasons. Do it right? for you, not yeah, for him. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And so Boy really at, at no point though has ever been like, You should maybe think about this cure. It's all Bobby? in my head. Yeah, he yeah, never oh won. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's definitely just like a teen girl, like, you know, the oh, yeah. emotion, the the chemistry going on in her mind. But uh, going back to the love triangle, mm-hmm. yeah. were, we just, were we just talking about overview? I, for, I forget. Well, because we haven't talked about the three characters at all either, yeah. too. Um, you, were so, you were just talking oh, about oh, how you loved just, Ellen I was Page. Just, I was just fanboying over Ellen Page. We haven't Ellen heard Page you talk here. about Kitty yet, <laughs> officially. Um, I'm, well... Yeah, uh, it's nice to see just all of them in general, like part of the team. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a big question. I don't really know what Rogue would do, <laughs> like yeah. as part of the team. I don't know Unless either. She like sneaks up on someone, like grabs his ankle. Because like I feel like in the comics, make her a lot more powerful. She doesn't do this in this movie, but in the comics and animated series, at times she's been the pilot. So maybe you could say that. But yeah, mm-hmm. I don't know, especially against the Sentinels and this Rogue. But like Rogue in the comics. Like I've told you guys several times, she gets she her powers like, from Captain yeah. Marvel. Mm-hmm. So not only can she fly, she has like super strength, this and that. This rogue does not have that. No. Like rogue uh, has been known, like she could fly up to a Sentinel and just like punch its head off. This rogue couldn't be doing that. Oh, so hell no. No, I don't no. know why she's, she's thinking on about the, the team. cure in this. That, one. <laughs> that's why. Like okay, I, I'm jumping back. We forgot this when Beast originally came to school to tell him about the cure, and Rogue comes in. She's like, "Oh, is it true? There's a cure?" And then Storm's like, "No, because there's nothing wrong with us." Fuck you. Like, you have no idea what Rogue's been through. And that's everybody. Yeah. It's like, she has the worst power ever, one, for her life. And two, this movie is not shown any way that she can use this power to do good for the team. So it's like, fuck you, tell yeah. me I shouldn't be using this cure. Like, no, Storm 100%. is so self righteous in this yeah. movie. It's ridiculous. But I don't really think she's part of the team at all. She's just more of a student who goes to the school. No, she's right? on the team, though. Remember the, the, begin, the beginning of that training yeah. room? She has her own suit now. Oh. So she's there. She got to see Bobby save Kitty and yeah, Kitty yeah, save yeah. Bobby. But so. we didn't see her do anything in this scene. She was just a staring spectator. At yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, classic. Yeah. Um, yeah. Again, I kind of forgot where I was going with my train of thought. I was just fanboying over Ellen Page. Yeah. Uh, you got Rogue and Bobby. Bobby, I think, I, doesn't get much to do. He's fine. I still like yeah, that I'll, actor. Yeah. Him. I'll quickly touch upon what you mentioned at the funeral. I wasn't too triggered about it because I don't. I don't. I don't know. Obviously, like take my bias out of it for Ellen Page, but uh, I don't know. It's it's like. Kitty, the character, she doesn't really have anyone to like for emotional support there, and like she does say that. Like too. the professor was like a really big part of her life, right? Like you get to see like even when shit wasn't Ellen Page playing Kitty, she was in his classes <laughs> all <so>. the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. So like, and just for all mutants that were at that school, like he was a, basically a father figure for people that didn't have that, right? So what did you think about the ice skating scene? The ice skating then? scene. Oh that happens right after. <laughs> I mean, and that's how Rogue that was gets pretty tricked. bold. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. That, that was more than like, just like, like hey, yeah. this is just a girl's just, school. It's like, yeah, nah, exactly. I'm like, gonna make her feel good. Exactly. Like just like giving someone a hand at a funeral. Like I'll I'll buy, but it's like. Yeah. You wanna go have some fun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, some I, ice skates. Oh, I miss winter. You know, you, you have Rogue, and and he's thinking, oh. You you might be interested in yeah. me. I don't have Rogue right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should bring Ro- Rogue along skating. No, no. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. she won't that. like it. She, no. will, she she we can't hold her hands. Yeah, <laughs> I'll I'll give you that one though. That was definitely bold. Because like, Rogue sees that, and that's kind of the like tipping point of like hundred percent. F yeah. this, I'm out of here. Yeah. So so yeah. Overall, I mean, it definitely wasn't. There were was so many. There were so much things going on in this movie. <laughs> But that definitely was a minor one mm-hmm. on like even all the different subplots that they had. Oh yeah. So I wasn't too 
invested in that. I <laughs> actually really like this little <laughs> oh, yeah. awkward love, <laughs> the triangle. love triangle. Yeah, yeah, because it just like adds kind of it's something different. Because this movie, like it, now we're really diving into it, like it's just kind of all over the place. But this is like what I like about all over the place, where like <laughs> someone is just doing something super like low key scummy, and you're like, dude, what are you doing? Like, but like this is so good to watch. <laughs> And you like, want to be watching from oh, yeah. far. Oh, yeah. Oh, 100%. Like, I don't want to be in it at yeah. all, but, like, this is great. Like <laughs> You're Logan. You're just like, <laughs> I hope you're doing the right I thing. Think. <laughs> yeah. You do you. Look out for yourself. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to yeah. fuck off and deal with my psycho ex-girlfriend out there now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's so good. <laughs> and even, like, so, like, yeah, I'm totally fine with the whole funeral, like, him holding hands. It's more of, like, a community thing of, like, you know, just they have each other, so it's yeah. all gu- good. Like, if there's more people like kind of holding each other and like sobbing, then it would make that a little bit better. But that didn't happen. But that's fine. No. Um, but even like their communications, like oh, when Kitty was like, "Oh, like you know, he was like a father figure to, or like he was like a, he really means something. Like he brought me here as like, yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> and Frost, he just says." Yeah, he brought me here too. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like everyone else had the exact same thing. Like, you're not by yourself on here. Like, yeah. Uh, Go talk yeah. to Colossus, Jesus. Yeah, no kidding. So, anyways, I love the love triangle. Yeah. I thought it was great. But then it kind of <laughs> just like, and then after I guess when once um Rogue left, that kind of just dissolved. Just that whole dissolved. Yeah, she's not in the rest of the movie. And it's not movie. even like Bobby and Kitty are getting it on or anything. No, it's no, just no, no. Everyone nothing. just goes in their own corners. There's a great yeah. scene where Bobby's looking for Rogue and they show Colossus walking in the hallway and he's just carrying this massive TV with just oh, one yeah. arm. <laughs> he's like, oh, she left a few hours ago. <laughs> Where'd she go? I don't know. And, he, <laughs> and, I, and I like the subtleness of just like, because he is so strong, he's just caring. Like, it's yeah. just so casual. So no, yeah, yeah. It's like he's not in it a lot, but I just loved all the scenes that <laughs> yeah. Colossus was in there. He just doesn't give a fuck what these yeah. people lie. I just want to be an <laughs> X-Man, you know? Like, yeah. He has no storylines or whatever. Uh, I, before you go, I wanted yeah. to quickly mention on the love triangle. Now's it's the th- time, because we're never going to talk oh, about no, X-Man again. Oh, no, 100%. They're, they're, uh, they had such, like potential to have like a kitty and rogue like scene where they talk i don't think they even talked no. once no, no. no it was so all. weird we need to get to the trivia because i got another fun thing to add to this okay. wrinkle of what was possibly in there but before we get into that uh at this point the uh ca whoever they are whoever's working with them oh and also i forgot to mention beast was pissed that he found out that they were using the cure as a weapon so he left right. and he's with the x-men Wait, now did right. you sorry did you like the love triangle uh <laughs> yeah we, we didn't hear your opinion on yeah that. Yes, for comedic value. No, for story because it's just so thin. It's not. It's so thin. It's never really touched upon again. But uh, yeah, the the thing is, I guess it helps is I like all those actors in there. But it just feels very much like when we did the Spider Man Retro TV show. Just so paper thin. It just feels. That's why I really like it. It just feels like back when I was in middle school or high school. Like that's what it feels. If this was a like a Zoe One Hundred and One show, I'd be like, oh, this makes sense. But these people are in their early twenties. Like they they shouldn't be like. Nah, no, (laughs) they're still in school. Yeah. Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Shit happens all the time. Yeah. Uh, after that, uh, the whoever the government has figured out where Magneto's camp is and everything like that. Oh, I like that scene. The, are you talking about the woods? Yes. With the, multiple man? The only thing I really is, like that scene. I've <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, that is. Okay, I was trying to figure out the order of it. So anyway, so they're like, oh, how do we figure this out? So hell have no wrath like a woman scorn. One. I don't understand why, and maybe it's her cutting a deal, but Mystique should for sure be in prison. She should not just be being able to walk up to the government. Well, and just, do like, they know that that's Mystique, though? Yeah, they do, because remember, the, the yeah. president says, like, hell, have no fear, like a woman scorned. Oh, okay. He I turned her back on her. And that's the only that. reason why, that's why this is not a good movie, because they, they, they sabotage Magneto's character just so they could have Mystique come back later to try and screw him. And then, yeah, it's turned out that the camp is just multiple man. Yeah. And then I think after that is when we get the scene of... Logan's getting hearing Gene thoughts and then he goes to the actual camp and he has like that fight with that spike guy lots of spike guys in this movie and then he finds Gene but then Magneto just tells him to go away and just fucking chucks oh, he him throws him a he long, throws him farther than Juggernaut did <laughs> in that house a long ways and then we get back to the scene and then we get back to the mansion he's all fighter up he's like going to like he goes to his like cupboard and he's just like pulling stuff out I don't know why because like you were already at this camp like I don't know where you're going and then they just get the scene where Storm is like, you're going to have to maybe kill her. And he's like, I can't do that. And he's, she's like, because you love her. And then 
Like it's oh, like, well, yeah, no shit, because he admitted that in the first movie. Like, why <laughs> is this a big revelation for him? He said the first movie, my heart belongs to someone else. He clearly fucking loves Within her. Within, like, the first five minutes <laughs> yeah. of yeah. meeting her. No, it was the end of the movie. He said that, though, you know? Yeah, he said it. He said it. Yeah, Internally, yeah. he told him. But that's what I mean. They, <laughs> they try to make it some big reveal that, like, he loves her, but <laughs> we had a pretty good idea. Who is... I'm oh, sorry. No, but, go ahead, because that's a bunch of stuff I threw out. I'm just yeah. trying to, because I'm trying to get through everything before, because the big battle is about to come up. Yeah. Um. Before he goes to the woods, was I might just be imagining this, but was who like who was he with? Like before he went there, he was with nobody. I think it was just after the funeral. He starts hearing voices, and she's kind of telling him where to go, and he decides I'm gonna go there alone and oh, not tell anyone okay. else. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I for some reason in my mind I thought he was like talking to someone. They're like, where Where are you going? It's just like. No, your business. <laughs> I think she. I think she said. Uh, he. I think Storm says it to him when he gets back. Oh, okay. Because he's like to find her, but it's like, you know, it's not gonna work. McNeil can just fucking like oh, throw you, right? Like, and they do that. mention that at the end of the movie. <laughs> yeah. Like I do like that, but at this point, she's like, Logan, you're so dumb. Like you're not gonna get to her. Like yeah. he, he, it's so easy. It's uh, so I love that reoccurring meme. It's just like Wolverine trying to take on <laughs> Magneto. He's like, oh my bones. <laughs> 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 and then he like goes again. Oh my bones. <laughs> and then Classic. the other thing we got in that woods was just a subtle setup of jeans like a little chaotic because she magneto and her ran some conversation and he shows her that cure thing finally remember oh, she like dispatches yeah. it and yeah. like threatens him with it and she's like you want to control me and, and that's like, like no. his biggest fear right yeah yeah, yeah. so, so kind of i'm not sure if you had anything on that segment of the movie no n- not uh, not at all just like <laughs> not I, I, I guess <laughs> like you just see magneto just go realize like oh you know maybe xavier was right yeah you slowly yeah, yeah. you know but it's too definitely too late definitely when you fully late. realize that yeah and then after this, we get the whole X Men. They're all suited up. It's literally just B. Be- There's a great scene of Beast. Like, oh, last time he like he's stretching and it's too big. He's like, oh, I haven't put this on since I teenager. That's like his classic suit, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, in it's like this world, yeah. And th- no, no, it's still like a black leather with some like okay. kind of leather orange. It's not in in like comics. He usually just has like a speedo on, and it's just his body. He usually never wears a suit because right. he doesn't. He doesn't need to. He's the beast. Yeah. He's blue, man. And then Hugh Jackman, uh, Wolverine, is giving the whole speech to the crew. So it's like Storm, uh, Colossus, Iceman, Kitty, and Beast. So it's just like the five of them. And because they've, uh, at this point, Magneto, he took out the Golden Gate Bridge. And they're going to get the, the main plan is they're going to get this kid who makes a cure. And they haven't said it, but they're going to kill him pretty much. They're going to do something with him. So, and then, then, of course, their plan is to stop him. And then I'm just going to say we got the big battle. What do you want to say? Anything in the big battle? The whole thing. We'll wait to the gene stuff, but I'm not going to break down the battle piece well, by piece. But we get the the ending battle of they all show up and we fight the hoodie. I kind I kind of wish at the beginning, but even before this battle, that they didn't show us that these guns that the the military is using mm-hmm. were me- like the plastic, the plastic with yeah. the cure. Would have been a nice little twist. It would have been a nice yeah. twist of them, like because and then you saw it <laughs> you saw it coming. <laughs> no, like Magneto goes like, "Oh, they're smart. They've learned." And it's like, yeah, like we just saw this, like I don't know, like fifteen That's a good minutes point. ago. I never thought that about is that. a good point. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that it is kills really all the point. tension of that scene. Because yeah. before you've been like, "Oh, Magneto's gonna go off here," and yeah. then it's just like, "Well, well I know what's gonna happen." He yeah. that the most annoying thing is the fact that he still doesn't go off. There is still like. There's oh, like those soldiers in those metal towers. Yeah. There's so much for him to fucking throw. He could take chunks of that bridge. Like, oh, yeah. but he well, just he started th- throwing cars. But, but after, after the pond. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> why isn't that your? If you can throw fire cars, why isn't that your first move? Because the ponds, man. <laughs> but he didn't need to. He could have kept them all alive. Like it makes the too many whole, mouths to feed. I think the whole scene is just dumb. The oh, whole, yeah. Everything that happens. <laughs> well, yeah. Kitties and juggernauts chases all right, but we get the bad on the juggernaut bitch line. Oh. Which is just it's awful. so bad. It's it was commenting on a meme <laughs> back in the day. Like it's just the hope and just I think they on paper like let's do a war of mutants. But the problem is one, you only got like five good like guy mutants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and not barely yeah. Colossus is with <laughs> them. So like there's that, and then it's just them fighting like a bunch of cannon fodder. They have no unique powers. None of the battles are really that cool. Like how Storm I takes out Callisto is like electrocutes her on the <laughs> fence, and her like her whatever her, uh, her lip her, yeah, yeah her like piercing. it's heat like there's so much cheesy stuff that happens yeah. in this oh, the yeah. balls guy like grow those back <laughs> i laughed when it happened because hugh jackman's lo- delivery is just so good yeah. and i think that's just because he can get past the ship but i just think this whole battle is no, 100%. not good i 100 percent agree with you because it's 
the good guys versus bad guys, which like the main bad guys and the main good guys, let's just say there's five each. Yeah. And then they should have done that. There's yeah. literally like just like the generic mutants that are oh, yeah. all just hoodies. They all yeah. look and then, the same. They all have the same gray sweatpants. Yeah. And then like the equivalent for the good <laughs> guys cheap. is just like the this production was cheap. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> And then, uh, like, the equivalent of those hoodie dudes for the good guys are just, like, the cops the or whatever. Soldiers, yeah, the soldiers. soldiers. Who yeah. all die. They all die. When yeah. Phoenix <laughs> pops off, she kills hundreds of innocent people. Oh, yeah. Just like that. Um, before that scene, I had to ask, though, mm-hmm. how does Magneto fly? I, I don't understand this. Uh, he, I think he uses the metal to, like, push himself up. So it's like if you had very powerful water, you could, like, push yourself up. So think about oh, that. Oh, yeah, so yes. like a magnetic, your yeah. magnetic field. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Science. So he's not flying. He's more like he's hovering. I was so confused. I'm like, okay. You remember this guy's in got science class and like south pole, south pole, and he pushes south pole, south pole, yeah. and he like I do that for fun. He's a, try and push. He has a class yeah. four after oh, right. all. Yeah. I forgot. About <laughs> <laughs> fucking class four. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kyle, you got stuff to add on this battle? And great battle. Uh, I think the kitty and the, the juggernaut, like them like running, was like really good. And I liked how it ended when when they yeah. got to like the cure dude, and then yeah. he's like, just stay close to me. Yeah. Yeah. Knocks himself out. I love that. Yeah. That's true because you, yeah. yeah. Come and get up. me, dickhead. All their dialogue. The, the dialogue so wasn't cringy. <laughs> the dialogue wasn't good, but I like like the whole like running in and out. And I thought this, even when that uh, kitty kind of like stops and she like goes around the corner and like mm-hmm. waits for him to blow by. Because I'm like, oh yeah, like that would completely happen as well too. Mm-hmm. Like that was like smart like thinking. Yeah. Or like well, he's head down, full on sprint. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I I like that all. Even like the well, the kid like he's not really doing much. He's just a child, just chilling. Wondering why everyone hates him. So. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he's a mutant, right? He yeah, is. his mutant okay. power is he can t- take, take away, away mutant powers. powers. So yeah. he's like the better rogue. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> what would their child look like? She must be so. That you know what would be better That'd if be a good rogue and her met. Rogue, rogue and her. him. Rogue, sorry, yeah, rogue and him met. I was gonna, yeah, yeah. that that would be a perfect. That situation. would have been like a lot better of like her, like un- like them like having like, more of a conversation or something or i don't know i guess i thought you were mentioning something else when you no said that. she's she's just like hey do you mind staying in this room for like half an hour with a cloak over your f- <laughs> head and some earphones so me and my boyfriend can just like talk for a little bit <laughs> wow. every night this kid's gonna pull them to their room <laughs> watch this tv show now yeah. oh yeah. boy um but that would have been a lot better for like a con- i guess a contrast of like to put that kid at like we don't even get like, is this kid upset that he's being like yeah. stuck in this cage oh, he has at no all? Emotion. But <laughs> it's like, weird. he's just seems we like we don't know anything chill. about like, him. No, we don't know anything except for he's the cure. That, like this, now like as we're getting way more into it, like <laughs> this movie, like there's Kyle's so many like issues. Oh, <laughs> oh yes, <yeah>. oh yes. <laughs> it's because it's all happening at once. You're kind of like, okay, like you said, there's so much. Whatever. And I'm don't forget about it. Dark Phoenix as well yeah. too. Like she's well, still they in did. here. They and did. They they all did. They yeah. forgot like how OP she is, and she just like she doesn't even care that you're mutant. She was gonna destroy you anyways. Yep. Like yeah. what? But like they don't give why is Phoenix doing this? You know, like. I could understand if like you know what we need to use the cure against Phoenix, yeah, because she's like super OP. So this is what we got to do, and then that's why she's like popping off and like killing everybody. But like, yeah. there's no reason for her to kill everyone no. except for no. unless she's just pure evil. She's like, well, that's what she is, and yeah. that's always exciting. I'm not a fan <laughs> of her look either when she goes Phoenix mode and she just gets like dark face. I don't. I don't mind. I don't it. mind that. Mm-hmm. I don't like her attire. I think it's very rest. cheesy, yeah. like this like cape or whatever, and whatnot. The one thing I will give credit to the battle is I like the the one the kind of tribute to the earlier in the movie when they do the Logan throws Colossus and they do this to Magneto and he catches him. Uh, two things. One, I love he flips him on his back. That's a big tribute to there's one comic, a very famous one, where Magneto literally rips the adamantium off Logan's bones. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, it's very brutal. So they were kind of tributing that. But I like that. He's like, you never learn, do you? And then Beast comes and stabs him, and he's like, I do. And like, I like that. I thought yeah, that was a that, smart way to defeat Magneto. Yeah. And then he's just like, oh, I'm in love, which is like one of them. And he's just like trembling because it's just like, oh, shit, like mm-hmm. I've lost everything. So I liked that. And then everything else was just a blur like it's just fighting and, and I, I go ahead i was like just colossus does he even do like a cool battle move oh he throws logan that's i guess he move. throws yeah. logan and then they uh <laughs> he repeats that quote or whatever that storm says in the training room just like we work as a unit or whatever. yeah yeah <laughs> well yeah yeah the, yeah the best <laughs> offense is a good defense, defense or whatever, right and yeah. they flip yeah yeah so storms i feel like just storm should be flying just zapping everybody oh, yeah. but no, no. no. nah no. ain't about that life <laughs> or at least like these mutants are like aren't like like killing the other mute like the good guys let's say well they're not good enough 
They're not killing other mutants. Like, they're trying to, like, sh- prove a point. Like, why? Like, Oh, no, they're ma- maniacs. We were just bloodthirsty. They'll kill anyone that gets in their way. It's, it's crazy. I don't even And understand. then after that, Jean's kind of looking like herself, but then all the soldiers, they aim at her, they shoot, she stops all the stuff, and Logan's like, no! And then Jean just rips through everybody and everything, except oh, yeah. for our main characters, because they somehow can escape this whatever, yeah. but... Yeah. And like human Magneto starts wandering off on the bridge. That was what have I done? A hundred percent. Actually, to kind of go back to the, w- before they stabbed him with uh, mm. the cure. So I thought at that point when the three of them were looking at each other, they would like c- almost have like a conversation. It's like, is this right? Like <laughs> it's, it's funny. Cause this happens in flash. Like, um, and then the DC, uh, the TV show, the TV yeah. show where they give, um, shark, not shark, man. King Shark. King Shark. Shark Man. <laughs> no, man. Oh, it's, please it's, give me that. It's guy. King Come Shark. The and they start having a debate, like an ethical debate. It's like, is it proper to give someone this cure? <laughs> oh, not in this movie. I know, but like, you <laughs> think. Oh, they don't give like, a fuck. <laughs> no, no, but you like. They're cur- they, they didn't even get him with one needle. They <laughs> gave him like a whole, like, five yeah, when he pulled Like, you are more human than know, any other like, human. <laughs> I, th- I thought, <laughs> they, like, at that moment, they're all going to have, like, wait, is this, like, should we be, like, purposely giving someone the cure to stop them from doing this? Like, the, this is what we're all against is like <laughs> giving this cure and now we are going to give this cure to even someone. if they there's one pro-choice. character to be like we're gonna mm-hmm. do it because we have to because yeah. it's like even if they said let's not do that and if magneto just can't be reasonable it's, it's yeah. like okay we have to resort to that that's yeah. why i think if there is a movie just about the cure you would get that but not in yeah. this movie no. they're just like we're no. taking no. eric out as clinics, quickly yeah. as possible oh, God. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Yeah, so Gina's OP. Yeah, yeah. and she just destroys. Everyone she just survived. Thanos's everybody. Yeah, like yeah. the guys that are like cops and mutants. They that's how they kill Spike guy and his friends. <laughs> They're just running and they just disintegrate. Oh, yeah. no, I, I just love this verb Thanos. Just like oh, I was at this party and I just Thanos. <laughs> <laughs> you what? <laughs> but like that's what she did. Like they were like disintegrating the same oh, yeah. way. I will say, great scene when Logan's walking up to her and just when she like gives a burst and you see his like metal skeleton yeah that that's was so well done yeah. and Details. i and I, again i think his acting is so good and she's just like you'll die for them and he's like no not for them for you yeah. and just his crying and then when he kills her and just i that's again it's like the xavier thing where that's a mm-hmm. great moment in another movie yeah. you would love that time all the time but because it's in this crappy movie you like forget about but i think that scene is done really well because yeah. he's yeah. finally that's how he's changed it's like he won't kill her. He's just all about saving her. But then he's realized she's just too dangerous. I got to put yeah. her down. And it's a great scene and between both of them. Even like herself, like she knows she's too dangerous. Yeah. And she asks him to kill him. Yeah. And, you know, and he's like, I love you. And then does it. And yeah. such. And it's cool. Like you just see all the water falling beside them. Like yeah. Yeah. great, great scene somehow. in this yeah. really shitty battle. Yeah. It was amazing. I <laughs> <laughs> Did I, you cry, Kyle? I it was pretty close. You were close. I <laughs> could tell. Yeah. <laughs> um, after watching this, I actually wasn't too familiar with like the whole Dark Phoenix like mm, saga. saga Everyone the watched the animated nineties uh, series. They do the best job of wrapping okay, up. It's like I a three parter. It's really okay, good. Yeah, I, I got watched, the DVD if you're on board. I watched uh, just like a YouTube breakdown of like mm-hmm. what actually like in the comics. Nothing I like this. She oh, goes 100%. to space and, it's and like she something like takes her over a stone. She's the one that like like uh buries the Phoenix within herself. Like, yeah, with, with her own powers basically. Yeah. After so, she kind of like finds a way to yeah because there's because the thing is there's the phoenix and then there's the dark phoenix because the phoenix helps the x-men in the comms originally of like oh gene's just super op and has these cool powers that's great but then slowly the dark phoenix kind of like takes over it's like no like we want to get rid of everything yeah. and she's very violent and it's a very similar in the comics what wolverine is is really what scott is he's the one that has to like do I kill her? I love her. Things yeah. like that. But they, <laughs> you know, did a swap. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have Logan with more screen time. Oh, oh yeah. Hugh, Hugh Jackman, Jackman. He's yeah. our star, you know? <laughs> um, so, yeah, I, uh, where was I going with that? The, oh, yeah, I had to, I wanted to ask is, so the relationship between Jean and the Phoenix, is that like a schizophrenic thing where like she's totally split personality? In this movie or in comics? We'll just say with this movie. In this movie, I think it's supposed to be, yeah, I think it's split personality. She's yeah, trying okay. to yeah. hold it. And even in comics, they sometimes do that. It's I, I think in the comics, it happens less like that. But there's times where, like, the Phoenix will break and Gene will be like, oh, what's happening? Or, I don't know yeah. what's going on. Because but in this one, it like felt, like, very schizophrenic. Like, like, especially, like, when she was, like, making out with Logan on her escape. 
like she's totally dark phoenix and then it totally blanks and she's like yeah what's going on i didn't put that in my mm-hmm. trivia but she did research schizophrenia and so okay. personalities okay. so so yeah. yeah that answers my question i will mm-hmm. say just as uh because i forgot about i do like in that scene when they are making on the room where he's like we can't do this and she goes like no and she just like whips off her belt his yeah. belt with her <laughs> mind i like that that's just like a fun yeah. use of power <laughs> Totally. Uh, um, going back to the 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 killing of the gene, the killing of the, the phoenix. Yeah, yeah, the killing of the phoenix. Um, I I really liked it like visually, mm. uh, especially like the detail that you mentioned when like his skin would blow off, but you can oh see yeah. like his metal. So like good. it just looks so good. Hugh Jackman just phenomenal. Oh yeah, like, he gets bigger and bigger with each movie. It's that's exactly what we were talking about <laughs> before Rip, this yeah. cast, even when we were finishing up Origins. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's just Hugh Jackman. Like every movie just seems to be getting better and better. Obviously finished it he always said he was trying to like get bigger for the role and whatnot he he said he didn't perfect it to like the wolverine as you know what he wanted that size i think he looked pretty good he does he does but he he won bigger you know fair enough um i got sorry i said i have nothing else to add to this okay i wanted to quickly mention we didn't i don't think we brought it up but the the bobby pyro fight yeah yeah i I like that when he went full ice man i do like like that yeah i loved it you, oh, what is the line again when he's just like still in school, Bobby? And then he oh, headbutts yeah. him like you should have never left. Yeah, that was yeah. good. I got that some trivia about that, but I did like that. It was, like and that. I remember sitting in the theater as a kid, seeing full on Iceman, being like, "Oh, that's so awesome!" Yeah, because I sick. didn't think they would do it. And then we get to see it a bit more in a future movie, but obviously we didn't get to see much. But I guarantee you, in Feige's X Men, we're gonna see that Ice Guy all the time, oh, yeah. like that. And so. mm-hmm. I remember, like, even the first time I saw this, probably like when I was younger. Uh, I think even before this movie, when Pyro was starting to kind of go with Magneto, I'm like, mm-hmm. they gotta have Bobby versus Pyro. Oh like, yeah, oh, yeah, like like they're just total like polar artists, opposites, yeah. right? So oh, it's like, yeah. oh, I want to see that. And then when this finally came to that moment, and Logan's like, oh, can you take care of your old buddy or whatever? Mm-hmm. And, and like, Magneto's oh, yeah. like too. He's like, go ahead. Like they yeah. they do a big setup for yeah, it. I like I did like that I as like calling back to the relationship. I wish there was more of them together. I, I wish they didn't like each other from the beginning. Of this movie or the franchise? I feel like franchise. they had a convoluted oh, like friendship. No, I like that. I like that they were kind of friends, but friends. they're like but Xavier like and Magneto, where it's like it went worse, where they almost didn't end up caring for I, one another. Or maybe I guess now I'm just thinking a little bit too more than what the franchise definitely went into is that they were like really good friends, but something between them like flipped a switch, where they or whatever, like a girl who who knows. And that that's the reason why like they don't get along anymore. So that would be more meaningful for them to fight. Otherwise, it's like, hey man, like what have you been doing over there? Like, see, I, I don't know your business. I, <laughs> I, I like I like the idea that they were friends, but it's just almost like old time civil wars, right? Where they just have different ideologies. So it's like, well, I gotta fight you because I agree. Like this is my stance on the issue, and then Bobby's like, well, this is my stance, and they have to fight, right? And I yeah. think there's some competition there, but I guess yeah, I just wanted more. Yeah, since Fair we're enough. since we're talking about those two, I actually forgot about the earlier scene when uh he's looking for rogue bobby's looking for rogue yeah mm-hmm. were you gonna mention that no or no okay no you can talk yeah i I, yeah, I, I just wanted to say it's like that's like the first time that they actually like see each other yeah it's uh, the first attack they do because pyro blows up like yeah one of the cure factories and like not even just that like the first time bobby's seen him since yeah he fucked off or which whatever. i wish there was more conversation yeah. there because no, it's just not like, yeah it's oh i kind of know you yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> It's like he's like looking for someone or your girlfriend or, yeah. or I forget what he says specific. It's something about Rogue. Well, yeah, he says something he's like, oh, yeah, she always not a beauty or whatever. Like he's just not a beauty on her and everything. Is that like what they that. call each other. But yeah, yeah, a couple times. Okay. Yeah. But then like you feel like you probably would still be like, why did you leave us or why? How's it going with Magneto? You know, like there's not. They just no. they just start. I, I, I think, well, there's something like Bobby was like, I don't really have time to like talk to you. I'm looking for Rogue or something. <laughs> and then that's when Pyro just throws a fireball yep good times yeah good times and then yeah battles and gene's dead she gets a plot uh right beside xavier and they also gave scott a grave stone as well so they're all beside which is a little awkward i get why they put gene there but you know i, I think there could have been a vote and i think enough people have been like you know let's not put her there let's you know let's she, put her in the other side of the house she killed a <laughs> lot of people no shit yeah the total yeah. number <laughs> <laughs> yeah i know it wasn't gene but still it's like yeah that sucks but uh, at that point, uh, what is it? The kid, the cure kid, he's at the school. Warren's at the school. Uh, Beast is made. I think uh, what is like a senator or something like that. He, yeah, I, I forget his so specific uh, title. Matt. Yeah, some, he got so, he got a raise, and he's like, hopefully, and then Back in the White Logan goes, "Way to go, furball!" Yeah, <laughs> like yeah. That. I like that little one liner. Yeah, and then uh, Ro comes back, and she tells Bobby that she took the cure, and you know, she goes, "I didn't want you to do that, and I didn't do it for you. you did it for me." And that was a good little like, come back to what the conversation that she had with 
Logan. Yeah, and then we get I think a great scene which is about uh, again like the portion of people that un- like the par- times where they understood Magneto. It's him Sinet chess game. No one there to play with them. Very sad, and it just you feel like I there got is chills, honestly. Yeah, you, you feel you like there is just a wash over of just like he really regrets how this goes, and it does fit because like when we eventually get there, in Days of Future Past, they're a team, so it almost does somehow they made it work that he did regret this and he went about the wrong way. But then it's that, and then you just get that one little he tries, to, he feels something, tries, Fuck, and you I, see oh, it's like Superman. Yeah, maybe. and you see just a small little was, nudge yeah. of the piece, and then cut the credits. I remember the kid just being like, "Oh I shit!" I literally got chills when you brought that scene up because yeah. I totally forgot about it. It's a great it. scene, oh, it's so and it's good. like yeah. you totally just picture like him and Charles being yep. there, right? And then like I remember because I obviously haven't seen this movie in a long time. I'm like, "Oh, does Charles like come back here and sit there or something?" Because in your back of their mind, it's like you can't just get rid of Charles forever. That was planned uh, originally at one point when he goes in that comatose guy. He was going to sit down oh, okay. there and reveal that he was Charles, but they didn't go with that because I think they said they couldn't get Patrick Stewart there on set that day for some they reason. They could have done over the phone. Come on now. I know. I know. <laughs> uh, what do we? What would you rate this? Or I guess we rate the movie after trivia. So anything to say more on the movie? Um, I just look at my notes quickly. Uh, at the beginning with Mystique, I don't understand how she got caught and captured that is a good question mark yeah we saw that off screen i guess she just got caught and captured yeah okay uh, <laughs> i have no answer or trivia for you no that's really just it that's <laughs> all i that's all I, I have yeah i, I had something else. i forgot to mention um oh yeah does magneto still need the helmet since charles is dead for gene no, yeah for gene i guess okay but okay. not anymore okay Okay, I, I figured it'd be an easy answer, but I, I had to ask yeah. it anyways. It kind of completes the outfit, though, you know. That's so true. You no, kind of just got to stick with it. Here's some trivia for you, Brian. I'm, I'm not done. Oh, sorry. Fucking bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Something very minor. I know <laughs> when, when they when uh, Magneto was pulling over the Golden Gate Bridge, and it's literally daytime, and then for whatever reason, yeah. the bridge gets <laughs> the Alcatraz. Oh, it's, it's, night. it's full dead on night. night. It's <laughs> dead ass night. And I was. <laughs> I remember just thinking to myself, I'm like, I got to write this down because I'm going to forget. Cause That's that, a big bridge. I, I had to comment on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they walk oh, across I it actually, and finally get I liked it on the bridge w- when they finally got to Alcatraz and then the girl like looks at Magneto, then like walks <laughs> the door and then Magneto just looks like, oh, you're a hilarious little human <laughs> and just walks away. That was, was pretty funny. Yeah. That was a good one. I'm ready for trivia. Yeah. Ready? Thank okay. you for being patient. Brian Singer, who was in the middle, and he directed X1, X2, in the middle of a three-movie deal made with Fox, beginning with X2, and um, keen to make X3, but he and Fox were unable to come to terms during this time. Warner Brothers offered him a chance to direct Superman Returns, which was a big mistake for him, but immediately Singer informed Fox and was going to take this opportunity and would still like to return to direct X3 after that, but as a consequence, his deal was terminated. Matthew Vaughn, who directed uh, X-Men First Class, was briefly brought on in production before he backed out. Brett Ratner, the finalist for the director role in X-Men, or was a finalist for one of the directors in the original X-Men, uh, had an experience of making a suc- successful movie with a rushed production in Rush Hour. So that's why they went with him, because he had experience of a movie being rushed. So they couldn't get to this guy and... Mm-hmm. Not a great idea. Uh, Kelsey Grammer uh, was so keen to play BC, he agreed to do an audition. This was the first time Grammer had done an audition for over 20 years. Wow. wow. So he very much wanted to do that. I'm, d- I'm glad he did. Uh, this is a meaty one. Uh, Brian Singer was going to direct, and he and his writers uh, wrote a treatment solely based on the Stark Phoenix saga. This, uh, The deceased Jean Grey, ret- and this was their kind of version of the movie they were pitching, uh, uh, Jean Grey returns, a more destructive personality called the Phoenix. She would be manipulated into joining the Hellfire Club by telepathic leader Emma Frost. Sigourney Weaver was intended for the role. A three-way battle occurs between the club, who want to take over the world, the X-Men, who want to save their comrade, and Magneto's Brotherhood, who want the Phoenix for their own plans. At the end, to save everyone, Jean kills herself, but the spirit lives on, transcends into divine being. Uh, yeah, so which uh, Dory compared to the star child in 2001 space odyssey and keanu reeves was also thought to have uh he was at one point thought to have played gambit Ooh, in this movie and i'll really? bring up that again but mm. yeah so that i feel like th- it did sound like there was still a lot going on in that movie but uh it did sound like at least it was all centered around the dark phoenix yeah. so it might have been not a bunch of different plots yeah it might have panned out a bit better who knows though because you what never know series? Movies. let's get it mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> um let's see uh well, this has a little bit to do with that. Rebecca Romaine, Mystique, and James Marsden Cyclops roles were reduced sub- substantially when this movie was rushed into production. The two cast members had prior uh, scheduling conflicts, so that was a reason. Uh, here's a 
Here's a fun one. Halle Berry had initially decided not to reprise her role as Storm for this movie, citing lack of character development in the previous two installments <laughs> and a tense relationship with the former director. However, after Singer's departure uh, and suffering a major box office flop with Catwoman, Barry agreed to return on one condition that her role to be expanded. Uh, Storm replaces Cyclops as a, and Xavier as a leader, which is keeping with the comics, blah, 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 because she was a leader at one point. But still, I think that is true that you could see in X1, X2, she's not in it yeah. as much as this. And then yeah. she is just like n- second lead with Wolverine. And I feel like it's not natural other than it's Halle Berry. We know she's a big star, but yeah. 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 Well, well, it makes sense like from her actress like point of view, like why she would w- want to do The value this, of like the actress, yeah. 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 Totally. Uh, this is where I think there was different versions of the script because it won. Oh, so that one version of... Uh, Keanu Reeves possibly playing Gambit that was in the original directors in this movie they did talk about Gambit being it Gambit was going to appear in this movie and would have been a love interest of Rogue and a rival for I- Iceman similar to how Kitty Pride was used Ooh. for Rogue and Iceman's affection mm. uh, however 20th Fox was developing X-Men Origins and stipulated no other mutant could appear in both movies so Gambit was removed in the script by that time Channing Tatum was running for the or was in the running for the role before it was removed which is funny because Channing Tatum was cast as Gambit but that movie is never going to happen now because disney bought uh mm. fox but that was a time to instead of having kitty in that role it was going to be gambit which i actually think i think it's tough because in the comics gambit and uh, rogue are the actual relationship i think it's tough because i don't know what they would have played the angle there because bobby's a pretty nice guy so i don't know yeah. what their angle would have been so I, I could see how they swapped it for like her being more jealous and whatnot yeah uh budget at 210 millions this was at one time the most expensive movie ever made wow really Yep. Oh. Uh there is a rumored ending where Pyro returns to school after being presumed uh missing in the final cut. So they uh, apparently they uh maybe shot an ending where he returns to the school because Bobby which again you can tell to me the writers of this literally take things so literally like you should have never left and he literally goes back to school. Oh just mm-hmm. Script right around one, but apparently that was an ending. Um Joss Whedon was approached to direct but turned down the offer in favor of writing and directing a Wonder Woman movie, which never came through. Ironic as some elements from the storyline were based off his comic book run in X Men The Gifted, which he made uh uh he wrote Astonishing X Men and he did write a storyline about a cure and whatnot. So mm-hmm. They kind of offered him a movie about... I don't know if he knew that what the plan was, but he could have directed a movie about a storyline he wrote in the comic books. But he went to do Wonder Woman. That never happened. And then he did... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, Avengers. But he's popped up a couple times in these trivia, so they really want him to direct an X-Men movie. He just never did it, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good for him. That's all the trivia I got. I don't have any. No, I know you're fine. looking at me. I, I don't have any <laughs> Um I liked it. It was nice and meaty. I... Uh, a rating's very tough for me. I th- rating is very tough. I'll go. Yeah, go. I'm yeah, still the same. So, um, I think at the beginning I th- thought I really liked it, and now it was <laughs> like <laughs> more into it. I realized, wow, there's a lot of holes in here, but I still like quite enjoyed it. I'm gonna give it a, a six. I think it's okay. the same level as I gave X one. Really? You wow. think? I'm surprised by that. You think X one and this are on similar tier? Only. <laughs> I I'm only saying that because, yeah, there is a lot of, like, um, you know, plot holes that, like, a lot of questions. But I still, like, enjoyed the movie overall. I still like the action that was going on, kind of the interactions between each characters. And I guess I like the ideas of, like, what they were, like, the stuff that, that was really good was really, really good. And mm-hmm. I think that, for me, outweighs a, l- s- a lot of the little bit of the small lows. Mm-hmm. And so that's why, w- even still, like, it's still a six. But, yeah. yeah. Fair yeah. enough. I'm just surprised, but you yeah. know, mm-hmm. if you enjoy it, enjoyed it. Totally. Uh, like I gotta start writing down my radians for each of these because I keep forgetting <laughs> what my last two were. Um, I think I'm gonna give this one a five point five. Mm. It's uh, it's not just passing, but it's a little bit over that line. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. It's like I remember being younger and like <laughs> enjoying this movie, but oh. there were so many things I missed. Like. I didn't even understand most, like, the whole Dark Phoenix plot twist. and Or not the plot twist. The whole plot around the Dark Phoenix. Like, I honestly thought it was just, like, a cure Brotherhood mm-hmm. X-Men battle. Like, I did not really understand. We the still whole don't G- understand it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it's very convoluted and messy. Um, the scenes that we've all mentioned, uh, like, the Charles death scene and the Gene death scene, like, they, they're huge, like, bright spots in this movie. But... There's only so much you can do on, like, this is such a convoluted and mess of a movie, whereas uh, those little shine spots don't really, like, do it 
too much justice. Like it definitely saves it. Mm -hmm. Like I think if he didn't have those, it would have just been a fail for me below that five. Uh, but yeah, overall I'd say five and a half. I don't think I ever need to watch this movie ever again. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'm I'm glad I I went back to it because there's obviously a lot of things I missed, but um, and plus you can see this like I said versus the Dark Phoenix we get in a few yeah, weeks. Yeah, exactly. So. Like I'm like I'm glad I have my 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 more developed brain mm-hmm. as a more adult individual mm-hmm. as opposed to my 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 little wee brain that I used to have. <laughs> <laughs> Don't shake good. your head, Kyle. I didn't know the cord was gonna move. Calm down. <laughs> um. I'm gonna give this a, a four point nine. Oh wow! Because I can't pass it. I just can't pass it. I think it's almost there, but I just that's. I mean, it's not an overly fail. It's not one of the worst movies ever, and there is some good stuff, but it's not enough to for me to pass. I think yeah. it's just because we talked so much about how much bad stuff there was in there and how much stuff that didn't make sense. Like I said, I think there's some. I like the score in this movie. There's some great performances just by the two, um, and there's some great scenes. But even then, like. I'm even talking myself down to like, uh, cause I'm trying to think, uh, yeah, I'm going to go four actually. Oh, wow. yeah, cause I can't, I'm trying to nine. think like the action's not really good. Like there's no. only a few scenes I, I can go by and say, Oh, this is good. This is good. I know we got something next coming. That is quite a wild ride, but I think this just has so many problems, whether it's the love triangle, whether it's dark Phoenix, the cure, like how do we start this podcast on? But like, why is angel in this movie? I don't know. He's just bopping oh, around. Right He's off. flying yeah. around. So yeah, I'm I'm giving it a four. I'm giving it my wow. first fail yeah. X Men retro here because it's just. It's, it's funny that you say that because or in like hinting towards what's gonna come next. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> like if I hadn't seen that something that's gonna be coming <laughs> next, <laughs> I think this probably would have been lower. Yeah, same but here. Watching <laughs> the something that's gonna come next, <laughs> it definitely like Grass okay, it greener. wasn't. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't. As bad as it could. I been. think that's why my score is pretty high. <laughs> 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 well, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to tune into that one, you should because we are reviewing X Men Origins Wolverine next. That is going to be a juicy one. There is a lot to talk about there. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Kyle yeah. thinks for the first time he's never actually seen the movie. So it's yeah, this is my funny first that you time. say that because I think or I thought that this was the first time I'd seen that movie. But there's so many scenes that I remembered. Like I remember the scene up. Uh, yeah, well, yeah. Sh- well, what we're gonna get you. So it. if you like what we do, go down in the description below. All the video and audio links are there. And if you really like what we do, head over to Patreon. You could be getting these episodes early for a dollar or five dollars, half them to all of them. Uh, and if you like what we do and you can't support us, please just subscribe. We're trying to get to 200 iTunes reviews as well. So if you're an iTunes user, please, that's the best way. If you really like what we do, find it entertaining. You go, how could we help us out? Do a like on Facebook, a follow on Twitter, but really a uh, subscription on a uh, patio, a patio, <laughs> patio, <laughs> audio or podcasting. I haven't called from on a patio feed. Uh, please give an iTunes review, but if not a subscription, a uh, subscribe. Oh God. I met the patio threw me up that Ooh. word, but, um, Give me a <laughs> oh no! Just give <laughs> us a subscription if you like what we do here, so you won't miss a single episode of the X Men Retrospective. Because we got what is it? We got four more after this, and there are gonna be some good ones. And then Dark Phoenix will be here. End games already happen by the time you're hearing this. If you're not on Patreon, yeah. so go back. We got tons of good casts. So please, if you like what we do, go subscribe. Whatever your preferred method is for Podio. Uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, having. Excalibur Day. Oh, oh that's my weak. God. Uh, sorry, guys. There was no excuse for that. Hey, hey that's so redeemed. much better. Saved yeah, it. Redeemed. Saved. <laughs> saved. <laughs> An Excalibur Day. What was going uh, on? I was like, ah. Uh, it's so funny. Once you started doing the outro, I, I saw you like get a little light bulb on your head. And then <laughs> yeah. you like pull it. I saw phone. Pull the phone. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what's called it? Hold that. On that Star Wars review, I noticed there were so many times that Taylor like commented on things that happened, but you can't hear them through the mic. He's like, what was that? I know, I'm like, shut up. And then you're like, Taylor, nobody can hear that. (laughs) He's like, well, I heard it. (laughs) He's the fucking worst. (laughs) (laughs) He really is.